it, it looks like it's working. Is it working? Nice. Yeah. yeah. I just gotta watch these um yeah. these shitty ads from Twitch for games that nobody cares about. Please, I have three layers of ad blocking, please. Wait, who's who's that talking? Who's that talking? I'm too lazy. Is that Brazil? Is that Brazil? It's, it's ink. <laughs> <laughs> Is that yeah. Brazil, guys? Is he back? Look, I didn't even show the image there, so you guys wouldn't be able to catch on immediately, but then he immediately spoke, so I guess I'll put it Oh, in shit. Oh, the no. Is up. Exposed. What's exposed? <laughs> Your existence has been exposed. Oh, no. Yeah. Brazil is back, guys. Welcome back. Yeah, welcome to tea time, guys. This is going to be a hilarious balance-related tea time, because look what they did, guys. They patched the game. They patched the game, and what did they do? They added, uh, so, they put Condi in the game. All right, just, just go ahead, Brazil, just lay it down. <laughs> <laughs> I feel, I feel like, I feel like maybe people doubted me before when I said that they just don't ever test balance patch changes. They just make them last minute, and it's just a team that's kind of scrambled together. But I think just maybe after doing 130k DPS on a Necromancer, because Epidemic's functionality was completely just botched. Maybe people will start to listen now. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, it was a bit of a rush job, kind of seems, but... Okay. But hey, I mean, Condiele, Condiele. They, they made it good uh, for a day with you know, uh, the previous patch with the glyph where you could do like 100k DPS with that and now they actually brought it back for real and it does in nearly 40k realistic and it's really easy and that's what people were complaining about a lot you know that's what that well, you know that's what people were really complaining about the fact that they made the best builds all right the, you know some of the really high DPS builds incredibly easy to play and did you, did you see the reddit threads what what, what what was the title of the reddit thread um PvE skill balance does not reward rotational skill enough, or something. What do you guys think mm. about that? Is the game Who cares? Easy? Is the game easy? Is the game easy they, mode? I, mean, I, I disagree with the whole concept that it that it doesn't reward skill. Like, I think that's just ridiculous. That's like people with trying to inflate their EP. Like, it it makes no sense. Like. The, the the easier the rotation, the better you have to execute it, or the the smaller the gap, like the like the the more marginal gains you you have to put in to get out and get good out of it. So it it just seems like that whole narrative is just something people say to make themselves feel better about themselves. It doesn't actually hold true necessarily in reality, and I don't think any of the the high skill or whatever ro high APM rotations are that hard to where you can honestly say that it's uh, like super challenging to run them. Like, yeah, NG's, Condi NG is not as easy as Hammer Guardian, put it that way. But at the same time, I mean, dedicate a week to it and you can learn. And it's not like this inscrutable, un unmanageable rotation that only like four people in the game can do. It's not that difficult. Really? Yo. Yeah, I think it's perceived as more difficult than it actually is because there was I think there was a guy commenting in that thread who unironically said that some of the rotations are just based on your actions per minute. It's like, oh my god, don't just don't say that. <laughs> Please don't say that Guild Wars 2 requires high APM to play correctly. That actually made me laugh. That actually genuinely made me laugh because that guys, Guild Wars 2, you don't need a lot of actions per minute to play the game correctly, all right? That's not how it works at all. Okay, that's not how it works. But yeah. What happened, guys? What happened with the balance? Why is no one going crazy? The balance is... Well... It, well, it happens. I mean... Seaweed salad. That, it's dead. The king is dead. You don't have to do it anymore. You can... Good. It, playing the game is just easy. Now, now you can just stand still and attack the boss. It's just... A, it's just... Everything's easy mode now. You don't even have to pre move. You don't even have to move anymore, guys. Just stand still. It's like... There, there's a really interesting, like... So in F0, there's this, like, mechanic called snaking, which is basically the same thing. It's like if you bump the triggers, like, 20 times per second and make the car twitch to the left and the right, you go slightly faster than not doing that. And it's like, 
you can cut off three seconds from like a time, but you give your car- yourself carpal tunnel and break your wrists. It's like it's it's not fun to do that. It's not cool. It's really not a good mechanic, and it was like an oversight in terms of the game engine. And it just like that food should have been a meme food like from the start. It never should have been anything like that was used in competitive meta play for four years. So I'm glad that they finally did something about it. Finally. It should have been done two years ago when it wouldn't have done any damage to, to the surrounding meta. Like the balance between Condi and power was so tight, like before the patch, then to just nerf power by 5% has kind of sucked. And a lot of people are like, oh, well, Ellie's still good at all the bosses it was good at before. Well, well, Ellie's not the problem. The problem is Power NG and Power Guardian are now complete trash because they well, lost the seaweed and- salad as well. And now they're just that much worse than Power Ellie. Like, it, it- Power Rev doesn't even make it onto the charts anymore. <laughs> yeah, I mean... But you got Condi revving. Condi rev. feels good. Feels Con- good. Condi rev is kind of a thing now. It does, uh, you know, thirty k yeah. DPS. So you know, th- over yeah. thirty k DPS, only thirty one k DPS. So, in in that sense, you've got you got some value out of this, and and the balance isn't that bad. I don't think. I don't understand why they didn't also nerf Condi food. Like, it, you don't well, need to test that a whole lot to to realize that nerfing just power food is going to have a negative effect on an actual balance of anything. I'll put it this way. I think the balance team knows that, that Condi food should have been nerfed, but I don't think the balance team was the one who was necessarily in charge of changing the the seaweed salad. I don't think the balance team is anything more than a couple of people that come together two days and the patch is out, and they're probably even different every time. I mean, I don't know what I can exactly say, but the the balance team isn't the one who pulled the trigger on seaweed salad, so... It's probably, kind of, like, the, kind of the legal team. Surprise. The legal team? <laughs> the yeah. legal team. They had to take We're the gonna seaweed. get sued. Because of seaweed? When Heart of Sands comes out and people can't play it because their wrists are in pieces. Couple this is gonna be seaweed. a class action suit. Yeah. yeah, so now you can just stand still. But still, I yeah. mean... Has anything really changed after the patch? Not particularly, right? Ellie is still really good. Condi Thief's even better than it already was. Does the Avatar of Melandra is really good on yeah on Thief, on Thief so because that. of panic strikes. They've uh, yeah. they've changed the the racial meta to get a bit of human in there as well now. Like you mix it up a bit, so you don't. It's not only Silvari now, although it still is Silvari on a bunch of other classes because Sylvan Hound is still better than all yeah. the, uh, the other elites apparently. So that's kind of funny. Um, I, I don't know. You can you can think of that. Well, they will. Maybe they should buff elite skills, guys. But Necro got a good elite skill, so I guess there's that. Yeah. Right? The Necro elite skills actually pretty good. It makes Necro DPS quite competitive, right? Will they get 34k DPS? Realistic, I think, or something like that. Yeah, yeah it's like that. pretty good. But you have to play. Long, I mean... You have to play three builds at the same time, right? Oh. So. <laughs> 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 If only there was a way to like control your fields. Like that's like what yeah. is missing. Like there, every there other class option, wants yeah. fire fields so that they can proc burning procs. I guess I guess Condi Mez wants like the whatever one makes confusion procs. Chaos fields? And, yeah, chaos fields. And then like and then like Necro just wants chill fields. So if only you could control that, that would be pretty nice. Yeah. But that's so engine level, I guarantee it'll never happen. You know, um, yeah, you, you just have to try and make do with your positioning. You can still kind of get away with it. If you just place the ice field just right, you can whirl in it. If you place it to the side, you can no- avoid overlapping it, and you should be able to get some finishes off. So, I mean, yeah, you won't get the exact same DPS as that, because you'll get screwed, and you won't get the, um, you won't get the chill field all the time, but still. You should be able to get away with it a good chunk of the time, at least. I mean, is there? A, I mean, uh, there is. I guess the power classes are the ones la- lagging behind, right? So, the classes that were lagging behind before was basically just Revenant, and you wouldn't. I don't know. Guardian didn't really see a lot of use. I guess you didn't really see Thieves anymore that much, even though they were still kind of fine. I don't know. No, nothing's really changed, guys. Come on. What's what's wrong with the balance? Is there anything wrong? Is there anything bad about this, guys? 
Hit me. Arc Divider is pretty bad. Oh, Arc wh- Divider is pretty pretty cool. Poor old bad. Warrior, like, man. Um, Warrior nothing, got the um, shaft, dude. Warrior got pulled. I, this I so I've been wanted to play. I, I've been wanting to play Axe Warrior for like the past year, and so they finally like I guess gave it away to synergize with like Phalanx Strength, maybe. But the damage is just garbage. It's <laughs> yeah. horrible. Hell trash. I think. I honestly don't think that that the thought process was to make it good with failing strength. I think it was just to make it better than mace and PVP. Yeah. I, I, I thought about that a lot too, but if uh, it worked with failing strength, that would be great, but I don't know. Axe mastery needs to get moved to the mastery tier or master level. So yeah. It's the a, same it's slot a, as forceful great sword. That would just be sure, so much better. Right. Cause there's, there's another, like, if you build an axe build, there's just like nothing to take for the first two tiers. Yeah. There's just no op- like there's nothing. It doesn't matter what you pick. They're all bad. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it I, should I, definitely go to master. It feels bad to be a power warrior, you know. I mean, they did they did I, I, I they they nerfed Condi warrior, but in while doing so they also kind of butchered In fact, Condi warrior, Condi warrior benchmark higher in this round of QT uh benchmarks than they did in the last one so maybe there's a little bit of like learning to play better but the build just adapted and got better like it you, you, happens so often don't you have to do some weird uh no, no, weapon no, no, stowing no. though in order to get the extra bonus no no. no 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 you use last blaze instead of smash oh, brawler yeah, to yeah because to to get the extra burning stacks on yeah all that stuff so they tried to nerf it didn't even work no oh. Feels bad. Well, I don't know. I guess I just hate power right now. I guess power is just not on the menu, guys. Just well, PvP, uh, PvP balance is more important, so you got to get rid of Arc Divider because it's really hard to dodge. Yeah, uh, and well, headbutt. I, I, I like how that was actually just completely the motivation behind this. They, they, what, what two classes did they nerf the most? Even though actually, you know, PvP Guardian is actually not, not, not actually that bad. It didn't get bot, didn't get bot butchered that much. But you know, P- Power Warrior and P, well, just Warrior and in PvP just got. Got the shaft, man. Well, all I mean, of, all, arc, of their, all of their CCs and Arc Divider just, yeah, the Arc Divider <laughs> was ridiculous. Dive is, is it ridiculous? Because like you, you could you could cast Arc Divider on home point and like down people that were at mid because the range <laughs> was so long on it. Like that's that's really not that. It's an exaggeration, but like uh, when I I I played Axe Shield Greatsword Warrior for a while and I was like memeing around in PvP. And it was really funny because, like, I don't know, people expected Maze, so, like, I'd just purposefully go, like, try to bait Dragon Hunters into a fight, and, like, suddenly the axe comes out in Signet of Might, and, like, you just chop them up, and they try to run, and when they're running away, you arc divider them, like, in their Wings of Resolve, and they just go (laughs) flying off the point and down state, and you just cap it and run off. It's good stuff. It was good stuff. Good, good stuff. That I, just like it's a, it's a good ability. It's a good ability. Yeah, but it was too hard for uh, new players to deal with, so they had to nerf it. It was. I don't know why Shield Bash had to be nerfed. Shield Bash, that nerf makes no sense. All like, warrior this, stuns that, had to be nerfed so people can dodge them now. Easy. I mean, Shield Bash is is a perfectly fine skill for the first five years of the game, and and suddenly <laughs> last week it became too good. Shield Bash just too good. Yeah. Well, I was watching a Come on. I was watching a video this morning where the uh, in PVP the warrior was just stun 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 I'm in Vuln, f you <laughs> deal with me yeah, so it's still ridiculous it well, whatever that, that's why that's why they that's why they nerfed warrior right it's because p- people find warrior just annoying to fight against because it just goes invulnerable and I just one hits you I, I if you know. get hit warrior so, seems like so impossible for them to balance in PVP because it's like Either they numbers. nerf the sustain and warriors lose to everything that has disengages and stealth and, and all of that, or they overbuff the sustain and warriors are just like in, in completely invulnerable and they've never gotten it right. They've never found the happy balance. It's always like nerf heel sig, buff heel sig, nerf heel sig, buff heel sig. And it's it's never been been right. Well, I mean they keep nerfing it. They nerfed it again. Yeah. Another ten percent yeah. off. Another ten percent off, nerfed all the stuns. An arc divider. That's good, but I mean, in in a sense though, in, in from the PvP aspect, I think basically nothing changed because they just toned everything down. Because uh, they got rid of all the 
the, the damage sigils, more or less. They got rid of most of the damage sigils, like the, the air and mm. fire and geomancy and stuff like that. So they nerfed pretty much everything across the board in that aspect. So I think everything's more or less the same in, in PvP, honestly. It's just a bit slower. And they also nerfed the sustain of people as well. So they, they nerfed Ellie pretty hard, because otherwise it would be pretty silly, this patch, because everyone well, has less damage. Well, Rev will be a lot better this season. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It will be a lot better. Inks, please don't say that. It will be. No. But in PvP? It's not going to be good. They're not it'll, be, it. it'll be why? better than it was last season. <laughs> why, do you think it, why do you think it won't be good? Why do you think Rev won't be good? You know, it's not intended. They want Rev to be bad? But that's how yeah. they get people to buy Heart of Thorns. Come on, you need to No, buy that's to how get... they get people to buy Heart of Sands, the next one. So they, they just, yeah. oh, Rev's they... bad, we gotta buy well, the next one. So here's Heart a question. <laughs> I mean... Uh, I don't know. Pete, it just... Some of the balance changes just don't make very much sense to me. And I'm not a big balance guy. I, I, I don't have as much to, to give to this conversation as Brazil and Nike does. Teapot. But um, <laughs> changes to Condi Ranger are totally meaningless. They, <laughs> yeah, I was going to bring that up. Like, <laughs> Who cares? <laughs> if you look at a lot of the changes and imagine them in a vacuum where there's no other changes in the environment, like there's no environment then it makes it makes more sense like okay condi ranger all the people were were bitching on reddit that it was too too good of dps for what for how easy a rotation it is so like it makes sense that they would want to nerf it by like 1k dps um problem is it isn't in a vacuum it's surrounded by the rest of the meta where you have condi thief which actually got a buff and was already doing better damage than condi ranger so it was like in a vacuum, that Condi Ranger, you can understand the motivation of why they did it. But when you look at like trying to cultivate the whole meta, it, it makes no sense whatsoever. And that's like a lot of the changes in the patch make sense by themselves. Right. But when you like put everything together and are like, all right, now what are we left with once we put the puzzle together? Oh, the changes were stupid. And like that, and that's sort of how a lot of the stuff in the patch was. Oh, should we talk about how the, like, getting boons on phantasms and stuff doesn't mean anything, and it never has. But, like, yeah. they keep this, doing that. This change is just... That was embarrassing. Very, like, it is embarrassing. It, I just don't understand how they can make that error. I mean, that, that's... I do. It's because the balance team is just a couple of people that they pull together at the last minute. But, I mean, it just doesn't... That literally makes no sense. What they did makes absolutely no sense. Giving might to phantasms doesn't do anything at all. Why? Why would they? Why, it, why would they do that? The only reason they they would do that is if they actually just didn't understand how it worked, or maybe they met, intended to change it, or maybe they just don't know how it works. I don't know. It's almost like the balance team is just a couple of people that get pulled together randomly at the last minute, isn't it? But I mean, how it, that. Just because they're a bunch of random people doesn't mean they can actually know how. Doesn't know that they don't. Yeah, know Yeah, what game if it's works. from the art department? Well, they might <laughs> know how the game works. I, you know, it's. I've been saying for a while that more than living story, where we can ask them anything about how great timing is, I would much rather have an AMA about balance. The day after, or a couple of days, you know, a week after, or something like that, because. I don't know. I just don't understand some of the thought processes behind changes that are made. Yeah, I, it, I mean, they're not the, going to answer the rest most, of the, it, Yeah, but. if only the rest of the community wasn't allowed to make comments on on the AMA. It was just, <laughs> I mean, just to. I mean, there's a there's a thread on the official forums that I linked in Discord like earlier today about a guy who's like upset that he can't raid on his no full nomads character. <laughs> like, I mean, come on. Why is, is that it... person? Why does that person have the right to comment on a dev AMA about about balance? Like, obviously, completely. I mean, they would just ignore that. I mean, they're they're, they're going to ignore ninety well, percent of gotta... the comments anyway. But you know. I actually got a comment on my YouTube channel this morning about like the video I made. Where like pugging raids, I said it wasn't so bad, and the guy was like, "You should, you should like make a new account and level up to eighty, and then try to raid on it and see how it is." I was like, "That's literally what I did, and I did it on EU, and everybody said it was way worse, and like it was fine." And he said, "Well, I'm glad that worked out for you." Then it's just like, all right, if what you if just like just did that like a couple of months ago with Power Engine, yeah. 
it's not oh. it's 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 not that difficult. If you want to like just convince yourself it's impossible to like raid and you know like it's not really Anet's problem. Yeah. And I, I did it on Rev as well, even worse. Yeah. I, I was able to pug on Rev. Like yeah, Inks so. does it. You can Inks do is it. A terrible player. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> Inks is hell noob. <laughs> I mean it, Oh boy. There are there are some interesting people, but I, I don't know. I, I still have I still have confidence in Arena. I mean they, they haven't they they, they they know what they're doing. Well maybe they don't. I don't know. The Phantasm change, that was a mistake. That, that's that a face bomb. It, it is, it is. But if you think about it, it's actually kind of cool. If it worked, it would be kind of cool, right? But yeah, if, if the sword's been hit hard as fuck when, when it yeah. did that first attack. Like, exactly, but it, it doesn't, so. I, I don't know. Maybe, I think something they could have gone on is that maybe you could use it to disguise yourself, right? But the phantasms don't even look like you, so it can't be that, you know what I mean? It's just, ah, yeah, they've all got the same boons, so you can't find out what one's the real one, but phantasms don't even look, they're not clones, right? So it's actually completely useless. If you put it on your clones or something, you kind of see it. But then again, no. Cause so so then the question, I don't, I don't know. So but. then the question is, is this preparation for the expansion? This is probably the last bounce Somehow. you're going to get before the expansion. I don't no, see I think it. we'll get one. I think we'll get one after the next PvP season. Oh, another I, one? I, I would assume so, yeah. I suppose so. Because there'll there'll still be a three month gap between episode six and the X packs, so yeah. there's time in there for a last Leech. change. Yeah. What do you think needs to be changed from here? Need to bring power classes up a little bit? Yeah, power classes uh, need a five percent buff. Yeah, <laughs> at least maybe maybe seven percent. Yeah, a little, just a little bit more because they did kind of. I guess they they made Condi Ellie extremely strong this. Um, uh, this well, patch nerfed... and thief as well, and ranger is more or less the same. It's a it, it's a it's a, yeah. a fairly small nerf right on Condi Ranger. It's more or less the yeah. same as it was. Yeah, very small. Yeah, most people wouldn't feel the Condi Ranger nerf in an actual raid. Like you wouldn't be able to tell. Yeah, it's that small. It's a it's what a um, if they nerf conditioned food, then what is what do you think the difference is, give or take? Ballpark. Sigil of Malice. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, you basically lose Earth Sigil. Yeah, and you go Sigil of Malice, and most builds work out to be basically the exact same. I mean, Earth Sigil is like 800 DPS or something like that. So you basically lose 800 DPS. The only one that would really actually get hurt by that's Con DPS because it doesn't have an Earth Sigil to give up. So you just but gotta think constantly be, bully, just always bully right? be, Warrior. Then basically, it would be fair. It would be fair for Con DPS yeah. to lose 800 DPS. It'd still be okay, I think. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. They, can, they, they know, need I mean, to... Uh, Warrior is a lot of damage, you know. It's, it's, it's still a lot of damage on, on Condi Warrior. You know, it, it encroaches on some DPS classes, you know, if you're trying to... It's going to be annoying to keep up with... It's going to be annoying to keep up with Condi Warrior on Rev now. And that's, that's a bit depressing, I suppose. Yeah, but Rev got so much utility. Yeah. It's so good. I mean, they yeah. Can give resistance. Re then, Come on, uh, yeah, resistance. That's good. I and mean, Connie Rev is is pretty good, right? We just everything Connie. Just ignore the power classes. Like fuck power. Come on, power in current year. Come on, that that that's old news. Well, guys. if you if you ignore power, which Arena basically did, if you ignore power and you just look at the Connie side of things and you nerf Thief a little bit, then most of the classes are within a decent range of one another, DPS wise, anyway. Yeah. And yeah, you, I mean, as I understand it, Guardian lags a little bit behind because Connie Guardian isn't really that good. But maybe it is. Right. Maybe it is good now, but I don't think so. Someone needs to test it. Someone needs to get on that Connie Guardian benchmark. Full Connie, guys. It's all, it's, it's all, it's all Connie. Um, but I mean, I don't know. Who knows? So I, I think the balance is kind of fine right now. I, I, I think you're inevitably going to have a few classes lagging behind all the time. It's always, it's always going to be yeah, like that. Sure. Uh, yeah, Connie Guard is 31k. Well, I guess it's not even that bad then. There you go. See, so you just don't play power. Like you don't play power on any class. Simple. Well, but then, but then there's some there's some raid fights where you want power over Condi. So oh, there you go. There you go. Condi Guardian benchmark. That's convenient. Oh, one hour ago. Nice meme. What it do you uses like it, it's shitty though because that benchmark requires unscathed contender. And like some other unrealistic shit, like large hitbox. So if we're going large hitbox, I'm pretty sure Condi Ellie throws that in the dumpster by like 
yeah, 9k, so it's not even good. <laughs> I mean, C Condielli throws pretty much everything in the dumpster, though. It's a pretty good build. They, they, it was, they, they didn't realize, again, you know, it, it is kind of weird. Like, why would they not test this? I don't, I, it just doesn't make sense. Why did they not realize that doing that to Arcane Power would make it completely broken? It's uh, almost like the balance team is just a couple of random people <laughs> pulled together at the last minute. It, it, maybe it maybe it'll be like you know. I don't think it's random. Venom share thief or Condi Necro or Minstrel Chrono. Or if I just say it enough, eventually QT will start saying it, and then people will realize that the balance team is just a couple of people pulled together randomly at the last minute. Who knows? I don't think it's random. I don't think it's random. <laughs> it, it just it, I mean it got nerfed immediately, so it's not as good as it was. Yeah, I certainly don't think that. I, okay, so I, I don't think that they get enough resources for balance in this game. I don't think that they balance often enough. I think that's pretty clear. What, they don't have unlimited gathering tools for all their resources? <laughs> um, and I do think that some of these changes are made, uh, I don't know, without without exploring. How, you know what this is going to do to the game itself. I mean, changing changing up the meta and changing up classes is great and fun, but just some of the changes just don't. You know, do they just don't make sense? Which ones do you think don't make sense? Um. Well, so for example, the changes to warrior. Like if that's just if it's just PvP focused, that's why there's tons of lines in the in the balance for PvP only. So then why do you why do you make those changes to both PvP and PvE if it if the real culprit is only PvP? And on top of that, these changes that were made, they didn't I don't think I've seen anything for World vs. World only, right? So they're still not they're doing a little bit of splitting here and there. But they're still not willing to split enough to make uh, those changes across the board. And then you just have some you just have some silly bugs. The the until they fix the uh, the changes to Ellie with arcane power. I mean, bugs on necromancer. I mean, that might just be a bug that they didn't intend on day one, I guess. But. That's know. that's not a bug that was unintentional. That was very much as something didn't get tested at all or got tested just minimally, like the minimum amount to like pass it through and say it was like, OK, it's like, do the, does epidemic shoot out projectiles? Yes. OK, it's OK. It's ready to go. It was like Daredevil vault. It's just like this vault, like this quickness hit vault. OK, good. It's ready to ship. Well, then I, you have I, yeah, they have a it. firm stance on the other thing is they have a, they, they, they've had a pretty firm stance since 2012 and maybe this should evolve I don't know but they've had a pretty firm stance since 2012 that racial skills should not be um, powerful enough for you to, to want to decide to make a particular race and they've nerfed them many times before both Norn, Asura, you name it so now they nerf sea turrets or whatever the hell it was called and now Sylvan Hounds is, is better than most of the elites. And then they make changes to Thief, knowing that Avatar of Melandru is going to be like what? It's like what? Two or three K uh, extra for humans? I mean, come on. Well, they honestly should just delete, or not delete, but they should just uh, not enable it in raids. Just disable, yeah. Just I, disable I think they should do the raids. opposite. It doesn't make any sense. I think they should all be effective, but just personal flavor. Like, I think bear form should go back to the way it was, because, like, I would activate bear form off cooldown if it meant I could pin something into a wall and just pummel it to death. <laughs> yeah, just like, kite, that, that, that's kite, what that's what, into the wall and then have all ten people bear form. Bear rush rush that, that's yeah. what being a man with a beard is all about. It's cornering it something and just <laughs> running your forehead into it for 25 seconds and knocking it over. That's like what we do the convention yeah, every year. That that that's, that defines my lifestyle. I love that. <laughs> uh, I, isn't that's just a bit of a problem though? A lot of elite skills are just complete trash in PvE anyway, right? Like, uh, I mean, yeah, yeah. It just, a lot of them just suck. 
Uh, and and, and there are there are lots of things like you guys are saying disable for raids. Sure, that's great. I'm not even saying that they should be nerfed to be useless because I think that's just silly. They should they they should be a good option, but I don't think that they should be the optimal option because that's what number one that's not what ArenaNet wanted. In case they if they do want that, then they would just leave them that way, which I don't think they're going to. I think both Melandru and Sylvan Hounds are going to see a nerf. Might take them three or four months, but you know. It's it's just too much for them to manage. Like I don't know if they can handle. Well, yeah, it's it's just very unusual. That, that I mean, just think about this. They add a trait that applies poison on immobilized to thief, right? So if I was on the balance team, I would just I would go to Guild Wars Two Wiki and say, "Hey, what applies immobilize?" Then I would just scroll through all of this and say, "Hey, this elite skill applies like twenty stacks of immobilize or something. You know, this this might be pretty damn good." And he goes, oh, but Thief is really good with poison. It gets even more damage because it gets a 33% modifier. And I think, oh, well, you know, maybe maybe we should do something about this interaction. Maybe we should maybe nerf this so it, it, it isn't going to be the best in slot elite the thing skills is, with Thief. <laughs> Everyone the has thing to is, re-roll from Silvari to human now. The whole Panic Strike change was obviously something that was intended for PvP. And so the fact that it was a PvP change, they're like, wow, no one in PvE takes Panic Strike. So we can buff that for PvP, and it won't have any effect on PvE. Like, of course, like they weren't even considering PvE. That was purely a PvP change. And the fact that it turned out to be good in PvE is just not even think, not thinking about it. It just didn't didn't cross anyone's mind. I'm sure. Yeah, I think it's, I actually really like the change. I think so. I, I I really really like the changes to Thief actually. Uh, the, the the Thief changes are really uh, flavorful. The poison trait doesn't work yet, does it? I, it doesn't work right. It it, it does it does it just doesn't work how you want it to. No, it doesn't. No, the way I want it to work is the correct way. Where it adds to the, it doesn't affect the cap. It applies to the base duration. Yeah, that's how it was intended. They just never made it work is, that way because well, that's how the tooltip was yeah, affected. Yeah, the, the tooltip goes blue, right? And it shouldn't. Yeah, that. but should no wait. Isn't that the damage? Shouldn't it? Shouldn't it be like that because of the damage? No. Doesn't the damage make it go blue? Damage make it go blue. If it does, then like it, they should have just done both to it. It's changing to blue, so why not just make the base? Def- no. Then Im- Im- imagine how insanely good Condi Thief would be if it increased the base duration. Yeah, then it would almost make it like you didn't have to like take weird random sigils to make sure that poison wasn't sixty six percent higher duration than every other condition that you apply. For some reason. Thief is the poison master. Yeah, except thief. for when Ranger is. No, that also, Ranger has the yeah. Ra- Ranger has the poison master trait. Yeah, yeah. I don't. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Ra- racial skills. Yeah, they shouldn't be best. In, best in slot guys, and they should make elite skills good as well. Make elite skills great again, guys. Because let me look. Look what you got on Thief in PVE. You're gonna summon Thieves Guild. Guess you can do CC yes. with Basilis Venom. But what if you want to do massive damage? You got you got no options, guys. You got no fucking Fizz options. Flurry or whatever it's called, the yeah. the the stomp. I forget what it's called. Oh, I don't know. In, what is it Impact Strike or something? Impact Strike. Yeah, it's yeah. good. I love that skill so much. It is a funny Plague skill. Lands is my favorite elite now. I love yeah. Plague Lands. I, you know, I love Plague Lands, but I wish it had a really cool animation on it. Because right now it, it has nothing. Nope. That might be good though, because you, I I think it's actually complete trash in PvP, but. I don't know. Uh, you, you can lure people into it because they can't see it. You you put a clusterfuck of of, of effects down, and people are just lured into it. They just don't see it. It's insta die because the last tick gives you pretty much Everything. every every <laughs> pretty much every condition has nothing. It does, it barely has an animation. It has a little yep. a little ripple on every pulse. It, it looks like a, a draw. It looks like a leaky faucet. That's basically except yeah. it's green. Yeah. It's basically the animation. Yeah. Apparently, it has a very faint. Yeah, it does. Pulse. Yeah. It has a pulse, and it's color coded too. Yeah. Each pulse is a different color. Oh yeah. But what like, if you I'm can't colorblind? see that. And you know, I, I guess. And I'm screwed. It's if you're colorblind. Do I have good news for you? <laughs> you can. Uh... That, well, There's you this can, guy out there. You can use BGDM to use colorblind mode, right? Easy. <laughs> yeah. Easy. Uh, yeah, yeah. People the, the, still use that program. That's weird. Oh, wow, spicy. Yeah. Um, well, they they use it they use it for Kanye Rev because Arc DPS doesn't provide the correct numbers. Oh, well, that is a problem. <laughs> yeah. 
Uh, it isn't. It play, well, Plaguelands, it, it can't be a ranged skill because uh, otherwise it would have to be a well. That's why it isn't a, a ranged skill. Yeah. It's a corruption, so, so it, it can't be a ranged well, skill. Well, Corrosive so, Poison Cloud is a corruption. But it's all, yeah, but it's also a corruption. I don't know right. why it isn't. I think if it was ranged, it would be really it good. It would be too strong. I think it would be too powerful. Yeah. It, would be, it would be too strong. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Gear check banned. Gear checking <laughs> is not allowed here. Base right. It's elitist to. and toxic. Yeah. I don't. I don't play with a meter anymore at all. And it's even worse because whenever I see that a time is really bad and I know what my damage is, like I can't like see like where the problem is anymore. It's kind of. It's kind of. I don't know. Why did you start using a meter? Uh, because the only good meter that was available, the guy quit developing it. But that was my friend's meter. Oh, you, mean, you mean BGDM? No. <laughs> BGDM is hacked trash. Whoa. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah. yeah, it's back to adding up numbers in the combat log, huh? Yep, there we go. <laughs> Do you think Condi Rev is good enough to gear? Uh, uh, it's mediocre. Well, it might... I don't know. It, on, it, how on much? Karn, it's pretty good. Well, the thing is, though, on boss on bosses that move, you'd think, ah, that's where you're gonna get value out of that torment. But here's the thing, right? right? You, you, you use a lot of fields. You put fields right, down all the time, your fields. so it will move yeah. out of the fields, and you you, you lose damage. But I, I don't know. May, maybe you do actually get okay. more damage. Um, yeah, I, I think Connie Krogner is 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 fine. Yeah, I wouldn't. I probably wouldn't use it for pugging. But if you were in a in a in a guild, they probably. They should understand. They should understand. Okay. Uh, so yeah, I mean, you go ahead and do it. Just don't, don't. I mean, maybe pugs will. will you know, well, mediocre you means okay to me. One up. I, I've been talking to one up a lot about Connie Rev and uh, like on Matthias. You know, he was telling me that like the rain phase sort of kills, sort of kills its DPS a little bit, unfortunately. But yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, it's Condi Rev is better than Power Rev. Was. It, it could be future so plan though as well, right? So I mean, suppose there was a boss that was just actually constantly moving or something. Yeah, it, it was. It was on rails. It just it just goes around in a little circle and pokes. If you. it was a train, <gasps> if it was a train, a train, yes, exactly. And you fought it on tracks, and Mike was the conductor. The hype train go. going round in circles. Oh, it's going round in circles forever, and you have to kill it and you torment it. Condi Mesmers no, and Condi Revs. Perfect. Yeah, I don't. I don't mean to say that Condi Rev is trash. I don't think it's trash. It's it's okay. I think that if you're pugging, unfortunately, they're gonna they're gonna make you take like Condi Le, even if you're terrible at it, even if you can't pull the DPS, which most people can't or won't. Um, or maybe Condi Thief, you know, because because the DPS is pretty good on Condi yeah. Thief. Well, I don't think yeah. the pug community has any idea about Condi Thief still. Like they didn't realize that's true. It's, it's been no, the slowest don't. build that to catch on that was actually good. Like Condi Ellie caught on after like one day after the patch. Well, it's because they, they saw that forty-two k DPS benchmark. Yeah, oh, but, but Condi Thief has been good for like four months, like really, really good, and people still don't understand how good it is. Like it's it's the most like under the radar thing ever. Yeah, Aina didn't have any idea, obviously. <laughs> Like, yeah, it made no sense. And it, it, yeah, it is weird how things just don't catch on, right? I mean, I don't know. Pugs are so weird right now. It's uh, only EU pugs are really weird. Uh, I don't know. I I was in a pug and the the commander they, they basically like they did well. They didn't they didn't mind us because they actually knew, you know, and they recognized salt. Like, oh yeah, you guys must be really good. I I, I tried not to laugh, <laughs> um, but. <laughs> like the commander was obviously just he had the tag uh, and he'd basically never done the boss before I was pretty sure he was like, obviously using it to abuse there was a bunch of people who'd fake kill people. wait was it Bootsy Wootsy it, <laughs> it wasn't Bootsy Wootsy I, oh. he doesn't even play anymore man he got it away. I guess not I haven't heard of, well I mean I haven't been playing that much either to be honest he made legendary armor and then just left you made legendary armor didn't you Brazil you crashed people's games with legendary armor no, yeah, that's because I wouldn't. I was not planning to do anything about that, like not bring it up or anything. And then 
Ain't it, Paul? God bless his soul. He said that the bug was a rumor. Yeah, oh, I feel really bad about he that. He said that the bug was yeah. a rumor. Yeah, yeah. He he was in he was in chat, and we all told him, "Now nah, we've never seen it actually happen. It's probably just made up." And he said, "Oh, okay then." And then it was actually legit. Feels bad, man. <laughs> Way to what mislead him. Yeah, we we we. I'm sorry, guys. It was us. It was me. We threw Paul off the scent because we told him we'd never seen it possible. We'd never seen it done, rather. Than That's, it. like, I, I, so, like, four of the people that I frequently play with, we all have legendary armor. And when we do fractals or, like, raids, even if we do, like, Tangled Depths and we're in the same lane, like, the game... It, the game would be unplayable for me if I was on my old computer. It would literally be unplayable. Yeah, but thank terrible. God that I have this new computer and it's like my FPS goes down to like 25 and it lags and there's delay, but I can still kill the Chog Jiren. It's, well, like, it's, it's not, is it a, it's not a problem anymore, is it? No, it is. Is it? Oh, okay. I don't notice it. Really? You think I, it doesn't? Well, when Legendary Armor came out, like Brazil was saying, I was doing uh, Tangled Depths. I was doing the Garant, and the computer would my computer would literally freeze for like two minutes and then resume play, and it was that that was how bad the Legendary Armor was. But I haven't really ex I, I lose frames at Garant anyway, but I haven't noticed it since they tried to patch it or whatever. Let's let's you do have a to turn quick, let's you have to turn clip test. model limit lowest. Yeah. Yeah. Let's well, mine is my <laughs> mine is lowest. <laughs> I, I haven't had any. I haven't had any issues. I think it. I think it's. I think it's fixed. They they you specific. <laughs> they they specific. You don't specific, play on a toaster though. Well, no. I mean, it's not. It, it maybe the effects <laughs> lag people, but it's yeah, not. It's, it's not a it's, bug, it's right? It's not a literally bug. lagging me right now. Yeah. It, it, it's not an error within the game. It's it's just it's not going to crash you, right? I hope. Because they specific TV for whatever. I mean, I can uh, only move. Well, Tangled Depths has got a lot of effects and wiggly things. In it, so. I'm in the middle of Ember Bay with no one around. Ember Bay's really laggy, though, just in general. I'm okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> where do you want me to go to this? Yeah. Your it, home it, instance. It is. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Pe 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 and places, it's got to be Divinity's Reach. Yeah. yeah. All those cats. All those cats. And all the cat models. I got your oh, oh, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> too, too much to render there. I only have one cat oh, in my shit. home. You need to be in a void, Brazil. You need to be uh, go, FPS test Nike, void. Nike, give me a spreadsheet. I need a void to test this in. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> what a meme. <laughs> hey, where's, the le where's the least laggy place in Guild Wars 2, guys? Honor of the Waves? Yeah, probably. Honor I was about to say Honor of the Waves, like the little pre-lobby places, like tiny. Uh, I think or the like... Heart of Monuments, maybe? Oh, yeah, your whole yeah. Monuments. Yeah, that's good. Oh, yeah, that's good. That's good. Yeah, oh, South Sun is so laggy, man. South oh. Sun Cove is like, yeah, it's the lag fiesta. South I, Sun I, Cove is I get, bad. I actually drop FPS there, and the, even when there's no one there, it's just. Although I don't know what even what it is. Is it the water? It's just too complicated for my computer to handle. It's just oh, it just panics. It's confused. I don't even have any portal stones. I need to go get one. Oh, just make it you make a new character easy. Uh, upgrade no. to a blender. I'll do yeah. that. Go to from Blender from a toaster. You know what? Well, well, uh, yeah, this, this is your really good point in chat. And I actually wanted to ask this um, uh, to you guys. Do you think it's a problem if um, power if the if, if the meta kind of alternates or swaps around between power and condi, right? Well, considering that it was, I want to say almost not possible to play condi damage for like a solid two years. <laughs> like, true. I, I mean, mean, it's also not hard to balance like every every dps build should do between 31 and 35k damage like that seems to be the range and it's not entirely hard to to figure out how to make that happen for every class like i don't i don't know like they they can just do that and it'll be fine yeah so you you'd, you'd prefer to have both within that range both options yeah. for, would be within the range if everything if you could like make every single DPS build in the game do exactly 33k damage, then perfect, fine. Yeah. But you, I you... lag in Hall of Monuments if I toggle the effects on and off. Really? That's kind of yep. weird. I can, like, I can only move left, and it's choppy. 
ask QT to be the balance team. Now, you don't want to have any Elita skill on the balance team because then they'll just buff Mesmer to the point where you can distort every single mechanic and just make Ellie do 50k DPS. And the, but the, in addition to that, they'll increase the boss HP, so you can still do more DPS, but for longer as well. That's that is that's QT's rabbit. ideal balance. <laughs> and and when rabbit. I say make every build do the same damage, responding in chat, I don't mean on every boss. Like boss mechanics would determine why you would take one or yeah. another. But on the bent, like like a golem, they should do all about roughly the same. And then you go, oh well, this boss moves a lot and has a large hitbox, so we want X. Right. Or this boss is stationary with a small hitbox. We want Y, and this one doesn't like the new pick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I completely Lights agree. Power. That that to me is the dream balance, where you take right. classes based on the mechanics of the fight and the utility those classes can bring to deal with the mechanics of the fight, <clears throat> uh, not solely on this class pulls the biggest numbers. And you do see that, right? You you do see, um, you do, yeah. you do see that already, right? You you some classes are stronger than others in, um, in you know, in different fights, and that's great. Uh, but there are there are some that fall a little bit behind and some that are pretty far ahead right now. It's not it's you know what's the actual range on DPS right now? What's the lowest DPS build? Is it Guardian? It's Guardian, right? Either that or Condi DPS Warrior and yeah. Guardian are probably well, isn't, the isn't Condi DPS it's probably, Warrior actually pretty probably decent? Full then? Nomad Mesmer. It's not decent. No, it's, it's not. It's worse in practice actually than it is. Oh. Wait, what build is? Condi DPS Condi warrior. warrior. Yeah. yeah oh. DPS. It, it isn't. Wait, because I've seen some. Why? Do, why? Do, some people were running powerful synergy on it or something, and that does some kind of weird meme that you can. Yeah, get your auto attacks. That's Brobo's burning fault. finishers. Yeah. You, you use powerful synergy for fire or Oh, here we go. Here's here we got the, uh, the 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 list. Let's see what's the lowest on the list. Uh, oh, it's Chrono. Oh wait, ha. Yeah, that's supposed to be like that. Never mind. Uh, <laughs> Chrono doing a realistic what fifteen k? Hmm. But I mean, look at look at this, right? Um, so the the power PSs are you know power PS and uh, Condi PS. Are, well, actually, you know power PS is kind of trash. But then again, I mean, it's a buff class, so it shouldn't be doing mass damage. Yeah. So doing twenty k DPS, twenty two k DPS, twenty one point six. It's kind of fine, right? Considering the circumstances, if you actually think how much damage Warrior <laughs> adds to the group with twenty five might banners and it's empower right. allies, it's probably an insanely what? high amount of damage. It is. Um, the same thing with Druid, right? I mean, Druid, uh, Connie Druid does a shit ton of damage, right? And if you think how much damage it actually adds, it's a massive amount. Same with Mesmer. Mesmer, you may think, what the fuck is this shit? 11k DPS? What is this trash? And if you think how much, how good Alacrity and Quickness is, it's going to be good. So I, I think it's nowhere near as bad as people think it is. I mean, Dragon Hunter Rev, is on 30 Power Rev is not, a, is not a DPS class. Well, it's not a support class either. So if we if we look on the actual spread here, if we look at the spread here, the, we're looking at the top is uh, thirty six point two k on small hitbox, and then the bottom is Dragon Hunter on twenty twenty nine k. Cod DPS twenty seven point seven k. Woo! That nerf went well, didn't it? So it's even more damage now. So I guess it was all, always better then. I suppose. Huh? Oh, how about that? Really makes you thonk, huh? So the spread here is actually only what seven k, six seven k. It's not, it's not that bad, right? So our dream spread would have been plus or minus two k, so like four k, so thirty one to thirty five would be the would be our ideal situation. So it's only two k off the ideal spreads, therefore it's not even good, uh, not even bad. Sorry. There we go. Like it's not even seven, good. Seven percent either way. There it's, you go. It's not even bad, guys. See, the the balance is fine. Yeah, I, don't, I actually think it's fine. I, I, I think it's, it, I think it's all right. I don't see any so, problem with it. One, one thing I want to mention too that I think people might overlook is that the price of those writs that give you plus two hundred power over ninety percent health, like this, those have come down a lot. Not necessarily the thesis for the whole group, but just the personal one. And it's actually almost cheaper at times if you put in buy orders than like the toxic sharpening stones that are like meta. So a lot of power classes should pretty much always be using using those writs for the extra 200 damage. So, I mean, I know no one uses those for benchmarks because that would be quote-unquote cheating, but... Mm -hmm. the, but, and you're like, in, if you're going to use Toxic Sharpening Stones or Bountiful Sharpening Stones, you might as well use the plus 200 power writs because they're just the same price or similar if you buy order them. But anyway, that's yeah. something I didn't... I just wanted to bring up because no one's doing it. Well, 
I think, it, it depends I on the group, though. We if have you, if a you case don't... of market manipulation. Yeah, that, oh, that, 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 oh, that's market manipulation. You uh, I'm you not even a scribe. All right, <laughs> everybody, open a new tab. Open a new tab in Reddit right now. Oh, Let's boy. get a post going, guys. I we we've tricked manipulating Reddit. the market live on you know, tea time. You know, Salt has done this t done this twice now because we actually market manipulated Mini Professor Muse and people actually posted about it. It was us, guys. Okay. <laughs> uh, we, we, well, we I, did I, the bay leaves. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we did bay leaves, vial of enchanted water, and now uh, Mini Professor Muse because that's a joke. I don't know, um, uh, you know, Olsen, he, he just said, send me all your mini Professor Mews, and people started buying them en masse and sending them to them. I think a lot of people just sent him a few stacks each, I sent him a stack of Mews. Uh, everyone who got, you know, just started sending him a copious amount of mini Professor Mews, and then there was a Reddit post about it, saying it was market manipulation. It was us, guys. Speaking of, it was the, us the sweet entire and time. spicy butternut squash soup market manipulation post was hilarious. Yeah, oh. The insider trading, oh my god, that was so funny. I mean... It, 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 people did know about the seaweed nerf for ages, though. So I, it was I, I public know. knowledge. It was public knowledge, as far as I was oh, concerned. Oh yeah, yeah. Every, was everyone happening. knew about it. it. It got leaked. Everyone knew. Everyone expected it. That's how it goes. Uh, yeah. That's all I have to say about that. Yeah. If 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 no one had leaked anything and and the prices did what they did, okay, then maybe there was some insider trading. But the fact is that people knew about that for the seaweed salad was going to be nerfed for a month or two. Yeah. At least so. Just more Reddit, Reddit tears. Yeah, I don't know. Reddit is funny. I like Reddit. Condi Warrior Why? meta for raids hasn't changed. Condi Warrior is a bit different now. It uses a different trait because they they nerf bopped another one. There you go. Oh yeah, Sam did made a response video because people call people call him out in person in 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 that strategy, which was really funny. So yeah, I yeah. bet it's that Sam guy. It's that Sam guy. Ah, Mark. Sam. ah but it. But it's him, market manipulating. <laughs> that damn, those damn market manipulators ruining all my yeah, fun. Those, those goddamn rich players. <coughs> oh. <laughs> People make more uh. money than me. Yeah, insider trading. I don't know. You, you could argue that you shouldn't act on it, even if you know about it, because it's not. I mean, you could just say you guess. People guess about stuff all the time, and sometimes they're right, and sometimes they're wrong. <laughs> And then they make loads of money when they're right, and then they lose money. I think that's what right. the balance team does, honestly. <laughs> Come on, oh, boy. I, I don't know. I I don't know, Brazil. What what's so bad about it? What's so bad about this change? It, apart from the interactions no, not, that just I'm don't not, make I'm any not, sense. I'm, apart from I'm the not saying that, that the balance is bad. This patch. I'm saying that like epidemic. Like that's. But it's still broken. The, yeah, the functionality was completely changed and they made a big deal about it specifically like in the patch notes talking about it and it's like i i can't for a second believe that nobody casted an epidemic while testing and tried to cast one of the skills to cleanse the conditions because that's like that's basically what happened it was like if you use like lich form like if you use the transform or if you use the skill that like cleanse conditions off of you, it would pull the conditions from epidemic back. Like even well after the fact of the cast of it. Like I can't it just I don't find it possible that that wasn't once tested and and found out. Like it, that that had to have literally been a change that they made and thought, yeah, that's good. And then they just sent it through. And they just didn't test it at all. Well, sometimes stuff can get lost in translation, though, between uh, the... I mean, we're not talking uh, the, about evident test, weapons the testing here, and... T-Part. We're, we're talking about simple stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It, it's such a weird interaction, though, isn't it? It's, it's just... You just have to wonder what is actually happening when... Um, uh, when, when that, it, it's just fascinating, isn't it? Well, what causes that bug to happen? Why is it that when you cast Epidemic and then Transfer or go in Shroud... The, the conditions go on you. It says, what, what the fuck? What does that even, how does that even make any sense? How, how did that happen, guys? Uh, it's really funny, though, because you could just epidemic um, yourself, your team, which is really good, by the way. Uh, yeah. But I imagine there was a lot of trolling in, in pug groups with necromancers going in and wiping their entire <laughs> team instantly. Uh, but hey, they nerfed it. They, did it. they did this for World vs. World, guys. They did this for you. Although, you know, it's, it's, so, it's still So people pretty good. can outrun the projectiles. They're, uh, they're not, not that slow, though. They're actually pretty fast. 
It's super speed with uh, Executioner's Axe. Just run away from it. But won't it keep following you? I don't know. Just, I didn't test it, what? neither did they, so I guess it's a clean slate. Did it make a big difference in World v. World? Like, I don't play as much as, as well, you do. I, like, I, is it I, is it yeah. noticeable? Like, is Necro dead? Like, what's Well, the, Necro is never going to be dead because of how good uh, Boon, Boon Corrupt is. Well, that just goes against the theme um, of the class, too. Yeah. I don't know. I think I, 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 one of the best parts about this patch is actually the cool theme uh, of, of stuff to cause. Epidemic. I think that's a great theme, right? It's, yeah, I it's think like thematically, kind of Plaguelands and Epidemic. Yeah, I think yeah, that's yeah. the those are the best thematic changes that Necromancer has ever seen, other than like the Blood Magic update. What about yeah, it's Axe? Really, really cool stuff. Axe, Axe, the Axe <laughs> no, the Axe updates are great though. They're really cool, right? So Axe, Axe two, the more bomb you have, the more damage you do. Cool. And Axe three, now if you hit someone below twenty five percent, you get a second little burst. Finishing people yep. off, so no, I no, I think the changes are really great there. Axe, Axe is shit. Well, it's it's not shit though. It's, it's actually really, you know, really cool. Yeah, yeah, exactly. The thief changes. I mean, we mentioned this before. The thief changes are really, really cool thematically. Choking oh. gas is now a lot like it's Guild Wars One choking gas, right? It, it's um, it's actually got that interrupt on it. AOE pulmonary impact. That's uh, that's uh, quite the meme right there. Uh, I don't know. Pretty good. Uh, thief mains in, in PvP are probably extremely happy now. Uh, Axe is shit? What are you talking about? Axe is really... Well, it's Axe not. Is, Axe is not shit. Axe, in P Axe in was, PvE, it's shit. It's not. Axe was yeah, it like... Is. It's not. Is it not? Teapot, I, I've spent a lot of time on Power Necro. Okay. And it's like, it's bad compared to everything else in the game, but in terms of, like, <laughs> range damage, like, it's pretty solid on Necro. Like it's a pretty acceptable option. It's, it's better than get a scepter. Yeah. The it's most broken everything damage. else in the game is terrible. <laughs> the most <laughs> broken power damage that Necromancer have is underwater vanilla death shroud, the auto attack. It's like three times as fast as the one on land, and it hits exactly the same. So it's like you're just doing like you're literally doing 30k DPS on something just by auto attacking. It's pretty cool. So it's power energy then. No, power, in, see, now we're getting into funny territory, which is, like, what people, like, what the old school, like, hackers used to do, like, in 2012, is they would force engineers into their underwater stance, and they would chase people down with targeted grenades, because that's how the engineers work underwater. The grenades were targeted, because you can't really have ground targeting. It's, like, it'd be pretty funny to see someone doing that with power necro, just like hunting stuff down with the underwater death shroud, <clears throat> but that's also like a that a problem that I have with death shroud now is that like reapers actually power creep because like the reapers onslaught changed that like the the extra ferocity should have gone into soul reaping because there's like you really can't play just a vanilla shroud build anymore because it just it does so much less damage. Well, it's I, pretty stupid. I think they gave up. Uh, I think they gave up on trying to make the professions horizontal. Yeah, they, I think, I think I, it's I, pretty I, pretty safe to say that just, the elite specs are just strictly better all the time. Although they, they do, in, in fairness, they did actually try to buff some stuff in PvP, right? So, for example, the Shroud Five on uh, base Necro actually reveals people AOE reveal, which is actually kind of good, right? If you could, so suppose you have people down, then say a Druid stealth them or uh, a you know a Thief stealth, or you're trying to finish off a Thief, something like that. Someone's trying to wriggle away. Or you're trying to put down pressure. You can just reveal everyone now with uh, tormented shackles. So that that's actually pretty pretty good, you know. I mean, you can you can and base necro in in PvP is not actually that bad either. It's not I mean, Ziggy's gonna flame me for saying that, but it's not actually as bad as you'd think. And obviously Reaper is extremely powerful because uh, of all the chill like hyper aids. But still, I think I don't know. Base necro is is not not as bad as some of the other options you could have base classes on. All right, uh, vanilla. That's, see, look, he's going to say it's complete <laughs> trash now. He's going to say it's complete garbage. I mean, it's not as bad as the other choices you could say, okay? <clears throat> hey, base, base Rev is better, right? Yeah, Base Rev. Base Condi Rev. Although I don't think you're going to get away Yay. from it. You're, you're not going to get away from Herald in, uh, in PvP. There's probably no way, I don't think. Maybe there is, I don't know. It's the worst shit ever? Come on, man. It's not that bad. <laughs> I think base warrior might be better in PvP now. Yeah, Berserker. Berserker. 
I think Berserker. strength I offers more Berserker. than Berserker. Well, I, yeah, I have seen the, um, a base warrior with, with hammer, I think, circulating around in PvP. Here we go, Hambo's yeah. coming back. It's old meta. It's coming back. Old meta. I honestly hate Berserker yeah. more than I hate any other elite specialization in this game because it's literally just spam dodge rolls and spam F1. Like, you can't stop that. Like, you have to do that constantly. Because that stupid stick and move, I think the trait's called, it's such a stupid trait. Wait, stick. Either that or building momentum. Is it? Yeah, one of them is One called. of them is broken, and, I, the, and I tend to the, think it's stick and move, like, like, is the problem. Having to constantly dodge roll for a damage increase while every single burst you do refills your dodge rolls, that's ridiculous. Like, that's stupid. It's stupid, stupid, stupid. Energy. It's it's like what what kind of examples can I give for like I can give some really horrible examples of synergy that are like this. Get, well, I'll, I'll I'll avoid it. I'll avoid giving any of these examples because they'll get Teapot banned off of Twitch. But <laughs> use your imagination, and you can find out. Like and, I just I, and, I hate that. And speaking of dodging to get more damage, they almost nerfed Torch on Condi Ranger enough to make Shortbow Shortbow the meta build. If they just nerfed the Torch a little bit harder, it would be Shortbow Shortbow dodge around, prance with, with yeah, your with dreamers. The with, with the the new the new well not, light on your feet. They, they keep buffing that trait. I, I, I this trait really entertains me because every patch it just gets a little bit more on the tooltip, and eventually it will be good, right? Eventually, the uh, what's it called? Light on your feet, right? And it's got a really cool yeah. icon because it's got a light bulb on a boot, which is really uh, you know a nice meme. Uh, but yeah, eventually that trait will be good enough to use. But the tooltip will probably reach the top of the screen by then. We'll do so and then many I can things. Finally, then I can finally play Dreamer, Dreamer, oh. Condi Ranger. Yeah, Dreamer, Dreamer, Dreamer Condi Ranger, and just you know, <laughs> that will be the and next. You you prance around and you do little rolls. It's it's yeah, light yeah. on your feet. It's very uh, suggestive of a role playing. Uh, uh, role playing. <laughs> yeah, I you love can role play. Role can role play, play as a, uh, a guy who like uh, guys. I don't know. I, I can roll a uh, a char, furry RPG role play. Yeah. All over the oh place. Short bow. Role play is Can't my wait. favorite thing about Guild Wars Two. I love role playing. There's I, a sound clip. Take yeah. it. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, just just line him up for Zach. He's got to make a new song, a new meme yep. song. Yeah, it, it, eventually it's going to be the point where every it may be uh, they buff evasive arcane or on Ellie, so you end up dodging all over the place as well. They make it the new the new best trait. They nerf the arcane trait to oblivion, so you play Condi Ellie with evasive arcana. So everyone's just dodge rolling constantly. I thought I thought most of the players in the game can't dodge, so they won't be able to pull the the well, rotation off. You know. It's hard to click your skills and your endurance bar at the same time. Well, you, that's, see, that's, you see, Inks, that's the obstacle. you see, Inks, this is why they uh, buffed Regen Druid uh, by putting the magnanimous stuff in the game, so you don't have to dodge. Oh, okay. And that's why they put Mesmer in the game. Why do you think they haven't removed Distort, Inks? It's because what you do is, like, the meta for raids is you just have Mesmers that skip all the mechanics for you, and if you, do, if you fail to skip a mechanic, the Regen Druid just instantly heals you back to full. There you go. That's that's how, that's the whole point. Skip everything. Yeah, regen druids great. You everything. don't even have to distort the greens at Vale Guardian. Just yeah, heal. just heal. Too. Just heal them. You don't even have to hit the distort. You, 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 if you fail to skip the mechanic, just heal through the mechanic. You can just click the top half of your HP bar to dodge. Yeah, I bet not. Ten, I, I, you know, what ten, I reckon. Ten, a, for everything. I think a, a surprisingly uh, low amount of people actually know that. There you go. What's what, that? clicking the endurance bar to dodge? Yeah. Yeah, you can Probably. do it. Yeah, you can, but I, I don't think you should. <clears throat> I don't think you should click skills at all. You don't think you should skill click? Nope. It actually adds an extra I layer think the of challenge. Fact the, I, I think the fact that the functionality is even there is bad. It encourages like, it. <laughs> I, don't, I don't even... like. I, I'm even kind of offended that people see... There is a button with a no there. There's a picture with a number on it. It makes more sense to click on the picture than it does to press the button. 
Like that, that, like that, that, that thought process exists just bothers me. Yeah, Water yep. Bash is right. You can click the upper half of the the health orb to dodge as well. Oh my oh. god! So it's even because when you scroll, when you scroll over, it extends. So yeah, as long as you oh, wow. click, That's as long sad. as you click the the health number we're above, it it still dodges. Yeah, if you panic <laughs> click, you can oh my god, I gotta dodge! <laughs> <laughs> I gotta do it! Gotta do it now! <laughs> I'm in trouble. Double double tap to dodge is like a really cool mechanic until you do a jumping puzzle for the first time. And then it's like, oops, yeah, this is a bad. This is bad. Yeah. I don't know. The first time I ever did uncategorized fractal is when I turned off double tap to dodge. Yo. I just I dodged right off one of the little platform, the harpy platforms. I'm like, okay, turning that off. Never to re-enable again. What a night Until I made an alt account and forgot to turn it off on there and accidentally died doing something. No, it doesn't even matter what settings I change because the game doesn't save them right now. Whenever I log in, my settings just reset to what they were before. Feels bad, man. At least I don't know. Login. Why yeah, does that even? Yeah. Does, I don't know why that happens. Because I I've been trying to disable the like eye ad adaptation thing since I got this computer and it just hasn't worked. Yeah, it doesn't work. I always I well I, I try and turn down the game volume. <laughs> Whenever I re-log back in, the volume's just all the way back up again. So I have to change it again. I don't know. Kind of weird. But skill clicking, you know, skill clicking is like challenge mode, guys. If you actually attempt skill clicking, it's way harder than doing it normally. It's really bizarre because it's always associated with people who are kind of casual and don't really play the game properly. But it's actually harder than not skill clicking. So you'd, you'd actually think it would be the other way around, right? Like all the all the tryhards are all skill clicking because it's harder. Need more. Need more APM. I think it's. I think it's more because. I think it's because like, people that are super casual don't change their keybinds. They use default keybinds, and in that case, it is probably harder. Yeah. yeah, reaching the zero key is a real pain in the ass. Yeah. <laughs> don't do that. Especially with their trackball mouse and and. <laughs> <laughs> like it's real tough. <laughs> it's got to go halfway across the. All the way across the table just to get there, right? Exactly. Yeah. Fast car skill clicks, and we know he's the Guild Wars 2 god. Yeah. You know, I'm going to do another test real fast, guys. Yeah. I'm going to unequip my legendary armor oh. while flying into Tarir. Quick, come and, and see how oh. bad it is. Oh, no. <laughs> come and stand next to me and try and disconnect me from the game. How about that? I'm not on EU. Oh, I can transfer. You can transfer. <laughs> I yeah. about that. You know, you know, you know what's really, really funny actually. Um, Fastcar actually made a comment on the Minstrel Chrono video I made, uh, but it got marked as spam, so no one uh -huh. can actually what did, see it. What, what did they say? Uh, he said um, the healing is the healing is bad. Take a look at this, and they linked to one of his um, uh, his heal Ellie videos in World vs World. It sounds and like something Dizzle would do. I think he think he think he mean? thought it was a world versus world build, but then again, he thinks everything is a world versus world build. So it is the end game. game. It, world it, it is, is the, the only end game. game mode. It is the only game mode. Yeah. Come on, everyone, join world versus world. Come to underworld. The most updates. World. Uh, uh, yeah. Se sees the most updates. I mean, guys, has world, the best rewards. World versus world is rank one right now. Oh, underworld is rank one in world versus world because we're with Gandara. We leached Gandara wow. to get to rank it's because one because everybody else quit. Yeah, there just no, there's no one to play against us. It's only solid. Every, there's nobody else. Everyone bandwagoned over. I think I would rather do World Do World to get another gift of battle than do another world completion to get the gift of exploration. If I had to do one or yeah. the other, well, I mean, yeah, it's it's way easier. That's why. Yeah, and it's actually like <laughs> some thought process. I, I I get that a reward track takes a long time, but world completion takes longer. Yes, it does. <laughs> and there's no hearts in World Do World, which is a huge selling point. Yeah, exactly. You got to advertise the game mode. We don't have any hearts, guys. What? That sounds <laughs> we don't. We don't have any hearts. Join yeah. World vs. World today. No, there is no. I, there, yeah, there are no hearts. World vs. World is just like conceptually, it's really cool, but no one that has ever thought of it has executed it well. Like, ESO tried it. Like, I'm sure Guild Wars 2 was not the first game to try it. No, of like, course not. It's just, it's, a, it's the coolest possible idea. Like, it's incredible. But... Dark Age of Camelot was one of the big ones for most people. Well, the only thing that 
doesn't actually work properly with world versus world as skill lag, and that is. I, I, yeah, honestly, if, if I just went, if I was a new world versus world player, and I experienced, the first thing I experienced in a big fight was skill lag, yeah, I would probably leave the game and never come back. Uh, That's why we can't ever have legendary armor in world versus world. We can't give them any way to get it, because it'll just crash everybody. It will just lag it even more. Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't know, maybe skill lag is just a conspiracy to get people to stop playing world versus world. I, I don't know, it's, it's possible. Mm. No they don't even need stuff. legendary armor because you wouldn't be able to see it with yeah, the rucksack. Like, y yeah, oh, just give them a legendary if, rucksack. If everyone, really... if everyone's playing a giant char with a rucksack, how can you see any skins? How can you? Do I any have. Fashion? I actually know. I know a good reward for World vs. World players. Let's hear it. Let's Fifty it. slot bags, exclusive to that game mode. I would. I, I, yeah. get I'd mode. go. In, I'd like, oh, I would. Def I'd definitely go in World vs. World for that. Fifty slot bags. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fifty slot bags, man. That's good Put shit. Put them in the gift of battle reward track. Even better. <laughs> oh, perfect. What? Too much value. <laughs> Too I would much add. Value. Oh, oh, the value, insane. <laughs> that'll be pretty. That'll be pretty. That'll be pretty, that'll be pretty funny, actually. Fifty slot bags. Fifty slot bags. Hey, honestly, even like twenty-five or thirty. <laughs> slot, Do you play slot staff guardian? Do you even notice skill lag? It's a good question. Ah, I don't know. Pretty much every ability, <laughs> every ability on staff guardian is good to use though in world versus world. Well. They're all good. Every single ability. So you got to use them all. I, would you do it for twenty-one slot? Yeah, honestly, I probably would. Mm. Extra bag for slot. One more, come on, one man. More slot. Yeah, come on. It's good. Uh. Make sure you have to make it so you have to decide between gift of battle and the bag. I mean, yeah, I mean, how many gift of battles do you need, man? It's just, it gets to a point where it's excessive at some point, you know? I don't know. Well, how, how did we... How did we get here? How guys? did we get here? How did we get here? I don't know. The old classic tea time meme. The old classic. Just completely digress. Run like away from the topic. Joe. Where did we come from? Where did we go? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I know where we went, but it's here. I don't know. What, what should we talk about? What is it to talk about? Well, I, I have happened? a topic. Okay, just do it. I'm I'm doing Ember Bay achievements for the shoulder pieces right now. Okay. And I'm a, spoilers, spoilers. I'm about to get to the part where Lazarus helps defend Orin, and then spoilers, spoilers, spoiler alert, spoiler alert. Like, I feel like they kind of just threw the entire white mantle plot just in the garbage can with like the way they decided to uh, go about, you know what? <laughs> what? The, the, the reveal that they made, they just like yeah. totally to like... spoil it now. It's All right. been long enough. Fuck so yeah, Lazarus yeah, just, just Lazarus it. for literally a patch until suddenly he's Balthazar and it's just like all right, where did that come from? Okay, it doesn't, it's irrelevant. It, like, they completely got rid of that entire plot point, which, like, all the raids built up for, like, everything. Well, they, no, I mean, they they told us on their guild chat show that there was foreshadowing because Lazarus uses fire. Uh -huh. So you, you were supposed to know that it was Balthazar because of fire. Hmm. Oh, I, uh, yeah, I think, uh, you know, giant dad legend is right. Uh, the, the plot concluded when they, 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 they finish with the White Mantle. It's over. Done. The maybe they'll be back. Corticus. Maybe they'll be back. I think it's extremely unlikely they'll be back there, actually. Uh, because, I doubt um, it. I don't know. Unless they somehow factor into the, the new expansion, they're probably not coming back. I doubt so we, it. we had our fun with the White Mantle, but it's gone now. Mm. Yeah, I, was, I mean... I figured that like we would see like at least a living Mursat somewhere, but I guess that's not going to happen. Well, the overseer, you know. Yeah, there was there is a comment by one of the NPCs um, in the new map, something about, um, you know, what if Lazarus is still out there or something like that. But I I think it's no. just a little it, conversation. It is kind of interesting though. What actually happened to it Lazarus? Doesn't, what happened? Yeah, to Lazarus? where's the body? Well, didn't they have sense. the body in like in Wing Three? Like, there's like the chamber where his body was, yeah. like, and it's empty. So, yeah. it just where did the body it go? Completely invalidated, like the entire story. Well, if they can, if they can collect all the Harry Potter Horcruxes, they could be uh, summoning them. 
I mean, is it because Cordicus takes one of them away, or one of Cordicus's yeah. minions takes one away, and so that's why the, the ritual doesn't work. What actually happened, though? Is it is is Lazarus nothing kind happened. of nothing? It just didn't work. Right, it didn't work. Zero well, does the, the ritual. Go? It didn't go anywhere. Yeah, it well, wasn't his. It wasn't a body. It was like the magic jars, oh, you know. So the, the body was going to materialize out of right. Out of, yeah, yeah. Is this his essence. It was his right. His essence. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So he's just gone. He's deleted. No, he's no, he's still out there. He's still he's still in the essences. You, you would have to redo the ritual, I guess. Oh. But all the way, Mantle are in jail, dead or scattered, and Lazarus stole all their money because they're in our cities manipulating our Alcazar. politics. They're not gone. <laughs> <laughs> they're not. Gone. Well, farmers, merchants, he, come on, they're everywhere. Go. Wow, that that's that's a good meme, right? That's there. some good role play. That's a good role play. Yeah. <laughs> I, that that dude who's the cook in the the priory or whatever is a white mantle, is he not? Mm-hmm. He can he finish is, the ritual. Be. Yeah, so we just to complete it. the ritual, and bring Lazarus back, and he'll probably try and kill us. I'll be good. I don't he'll, know. I'm not sure that's a good idea. He'll kill the gods. He'll kill. Yeah, I mean the gods are easy mode, right? We beat. He'll we already beat Balthazar. Balthazar. Yeah, he, he's weak. He was weak and useless. No, Balthazar is all. He's pumped up now. No, he's, he's, he's on roids. Yeah, he's so we have dragon Balthazar roids. on tea time. Dragonroid yeah, is running around the mist. Let's get him on tea time. Let's get Balthazar on <laughs> yeah, tea time. Let's do it. Yeah, <laughs> no, exactly. Oh, boy. I don't know. It, it is kind of weird, all, all the white mantle stuff. It's gone now. But hey, I mean, that's how it goes, right? So they don't have a lot of, of episodes to convey in, so yeah, they have to move pretty fast with the plot. And yeah, sure, we, it would have been good to have yeah, some, little, some more episodes. Yeah, a little episodes. disappointed in how like that just ended and that Lazarus was never really a thing. Because I kind of like the whole idea of the Mursat, but it's a plot twist, Inks. Come on, that's a that's yeah, a sure. basic narrative little meme. There, you gotta you gotta. What a twist! Woohoo! <laughs> what a twist! <laughs> what a twist! What a turn of events! What a the next timing. patch should be pretty sweet because we'll presumably learn like some of the motivation of like what the gods are up to, and oh, like, that, be, that part will be. It's gonna be freaking sweet. awesome. We're gonna go talk to Graham. <laughs> He's gonna make that sound, and then. I got down. <laughs> We're gonna go talk to teenage Bram. And he's gonna be really upset because we tell him he's he gonna can't kill really sleeping edgy. Dormag. He's yeah, gonna right. get corrupted and go evil, guaranteed. Yeah. I hope he does. <laughs> he's, I hope he Sons kills of... Simey too. He's gonna be really Sons pissed at us, isn't he? He's gonna be really angry because we prevented him yes, from doing his whole revenge thing. He so did the, not be happy. the did the thing we did with the machine that put Primordius to sleep? Did it also put Jormag to sleep? Think, I think it's Timey. implied, yeah. Time you say she thinks so. Yeah. Okay. So Bram's just gonna be kind of pissy. Yeah. Right. Oh, yeah. That's cool. He was gonna do that already. He's yeah, gonna yeah. say my my destiny. Uh, uh, I'll have to find another dragon now. My mom died to a I trash mob in yeah. vain. <laughs> person, <laughs> the only person uh, who wanted to like be a part of Dragon's Watch was Casimir, and she ran away within the first yeah. instance. <laughs> it's just like man. Our guild sucks, man. <laughs> our, guild, our guild is our guild is trash. Our, our guild is, well, is entry. Marjorie level. has to Marjorie has to recover from almost getting killed again. Yep. Yeah, we've we've got a staff mesmer, a greatsword necro. Skilled <laughs> coming together so, pretty yeah. well. <laughs> <laughs> Want Bram for mace oh, shield. What, what's, yeah. his, what's his off? Well, actually? he's using longbow now. Oh yeah, he's got he's longbow, longbow, mate, longbow mate shield. Yeah, let's go. Rocks at least has the meta <laughs> weapon. Yeah, short bow. Short bow. Yeah, Connie Ranger. Nice, nice. Oh, does she have, oh, does she have torch as well? Actually. Except she's using devour. And oh wolf. yeah, yeah. That's not. Yeah, we we'll, need that immob. That's not great. What? Well, I mean, well, no. It, it, you know, you know why we can run whatever weapons we want, guys? Because we've got timey. She can just kill everything. It's like whatever. That's right. Doesn't fucking I mean, matter. She's, she doesn't even have weapons on Scruffy, and she's, she's no the need. best member of Dragon's Watch. There's no needings. You don't need weapons when you can just invent things, okay? That's right. Yeah, we do do all the work. You're right. We do do all, we do all the work. It's like do all this the has happened work. before. Yeah. Oh. Has it happened before? Oh, well. Is it ever... It, it, no, there's no way in this game at any point... Like, there was another NPC that just took all of the player credits, like the player <laughs> character's credits. I don't, does that happen? I don't Here. think... I don't know which one he talked about. I think maybe they even said that they they weren't going to do it again. But I don't know. What? What do you? I'm just probably just imagining things. Is it just a prank, bro? Yeah. To Vabby? Yeah. Well, 
We're going north to Vabby, except that that wouldn't really make sense. Because, you know, that's not north. But yeah, the next episode will link us in. It's going to link us in. No, I, no, I really, I really think that the next next uh, patch is going to be really, really hypey. Because we're going to, you know, we're going to... I hope yeah, it get some crazy shit. There's gonna be some big developments it, before we launch into on a more the expansion. Note in this patch. By ex we, we, yeah, so this, you want a big this. cliffhanger going into the expansion? You want a big ass no, cliffhanger? I mean, I I think cliffhangers is pretty commonplace for for arena next story, right? But the the end of this story was basically dragons went to sleep. So that yeah, was kinda, it's exciting well, stuff. I mean, you could argue that they were trying to make a giant confrontation where you fight Balthazar in a giant pit with a giant dragon. Mm. I mean, you didn't really fight him, though. You fought, fought some dogs. Fight his dogs. Yeah, some little, little puppies. You glide around and kill get some magic. Yeah. Throw, Throw it on the corpses. Down. Shut them down. Yeah. There's not a lot of, you know, the, you know, the Balthazar minions kind of suck. You know, they're too, too easy mobs to kill. I don't know, man. I thought that fight was pretty decent. The yeah, fight was okay. yeah, I think it was a good fight. Yeah, it was a good fight. For a story, for a story fight, it was. Okay. I thought it was interesting. I thought Codicus was a good fight, but you know, no one else did. Well, I mean, uh, yeah, that was too hard. It was way too. There were so many complaints about how hard it was. That's oh my the, god. Yeah. Oh man. The, even though, even though in circles, it would res you and you pistol, could res rush it. Beef. Man, it, uh, it's too hard to run in circles with invigorating <sighs> precision in my pistols. Yeah. Can't the, do it. The room when it spun screwed with my eyes a little bit, but I didn't think it was. Well, that's because you're old. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Games aren't uh, for old people, Inks. Come on. <laughs> sorry, sorry. It was too, the the fight was too challenging. They should have put infantile mode in it as well. Yeah, it's good. I love infantile mode. Full yeah. rewards, infantile mode. Full reward, infantile mode. Yeah. I can't wait. I want my I want my uh, raid story. I I don't know. You could say that the fight was kind of annoying because it had a bunch of knockbacks in it, so that is kind of annoying. But it wasn't exactly difficult. What Especially since you could res-rush it. Dog? But I don't know, it's kind of... What? Oh, well, about... Yeah. Or no, when the, they had the, the, the jades, the Cordicus can Cordicus, knock you back, right, and right, the right. jades can knock you back, and they're really annoying. Yeah, yeah. But, I don't know. It should be really easy for most people, because most people are probably going into it with, like, soldier's gear or something, and it's even easier. If, you have, if you're going on Nomad Guardian, it will take a while to kill, but you'll eventually kill it. <laughs> a card soloed Honor of the Waves on Nomad Guardian. <laughs> He, no, he didn't. He died at the end. Casual. Well, I mean, yeah. He didn't make it. He failed. All that there was, time uh, invested. There was a big thread about the wizard's tower. Yeah, oh, I man. saw that. Someone yeah. wrote out a whole lore for it. And, like, encounters and all that kind of stuff. And a good deal of the responses just ignored everything that was written. And were just like, yeah. if it's a raid... That's not good. People will rage. Will but they realistic, will But they realistically, rage? yeah, of course they will. Are you what? kidding me? No, because Are you kidding no, me? No, they would. Why would they rage? Because it it would Do have. Do you not remember Saul D'Alessio in Wing Four? Yeah, but if it's the, the rage, but the the Wizard's Tower isn't even anything though. It's just it's just a thing people like to speculate and look at. It's no, not it's lore. lore though. It's not. It's it got nothing lore. to do with anything, right? Like, there's nothing they could put. Yeah. There's no story they could put in a raid that wouldn't get certain people oh, to yeah. cry about it. Like, it. It literally doesn't like, matter. But the raid could be like Dominion of Winds, and people are like, "Oh my god, you're hiding Tengu lore behind <laughs> raids!" Like, like people would like flip out about that. Even like, yeah, it's the most ridiculous thing. It's a pretty good idea. It's a pretty good use for that space. Since we'll why not? Get Tengu yeah, space. just do it. Put Tengu themed raids. The Tengu, <laughs> they just the new the uh the you know the new raid is called you know it's got like Attack of the Tengu. The Tengu are just attacking out that wall, trying to come get us. Yeah. I think when the raid starts, you gotta break through the wall. The, I think they they'll probably actually be a little bit cautious about putting any kind of relevant lore in raids. I, I think they might even go, they might detach even more than just they have done previously, right? Well, yeah. yeah, maybe, yeah. Because the, people I, will still complain about that because then they'll say my story. If it's totally, if it's if it's even more detached than it currently is, they can't really complain, right? Or maybe well, they will. They can. And they will. <laughs> Just need to make story mode raids. Because I mean, you can kind of right? argue that Saul was a pretty big, a pretty big thing to have in the story. 
Not in the context of Guild Wars 2, but in the context of Guild Wars 1, you know, that's kind of a big deal. Well, it's interesting how this is a completely different game than that. Mm. Yeah, but you, you can see where they're coming from in a, in a certain way. It's, yeah. no, it's an important character. This game is about Elder Dragons. This game isn't about Lore Teapot. Well, actually, this game is now about the human gods, apparently. Yeah. Because all the Elder Dragons are going to bed. Not Krakatoric. Oh, you wait. You wait. Krakatoric's going to go to sleep and Bubbles at the same time. Two for one. Well, yeah. that, the, that, the doesn't, it doesn't, that doesn't... That makes sense because when you... I mean, if you want to talk about the leaks, when you look at the leaked maps, like you don't see like the big... Krakatoric like area of the map, uh, like corrupt. All the maps seem like they had nothing to do with Krakatoric. Yeah, there's like, no corruption. So line. yeah, so mm -hmm. makes me think that like, well, maybe it has nothing to do with the X Pack at all. Like Krakatoric's not even in the X Pack at all. Well, story. what what I've Season heard, four. what I've what I've heard through the grapevine, I guess you would say from other people and whatever, is that like. The expansion is giving us an area, and it's giving us a few maps in that area to start off, and then, like, the living, living story. story is going to expand the rest of that area. That makes sense. I mean, they gotta add... I mean, you gotta figure, there's pro between this coming expansion and the one after that, if such a thing ever happens, there's gonna be, like, what, two seasons of Living Story in between? So you that's a lot of math. I, I feel like this is actually or one long one that's like eight episodes. Okay, right. But right. even then, that's a lot. I mean, that's a lot of maps. If they keep doing one map per, yeah, episode, like, you, you I think this seasons, is going to be, be right. like an actual expansion where it's like it opens up a new area of the world instead of Heart of Thorns, where there are just like four maps in the corner, and then everything else is just spread around the entire world. It's like Ember Bay. What other maps did we get? Bloodstone Fin. Like, it's just like... Bitter Frost Frontier. Yeah, Bitter Frost Frontier is like... Nowhere close to Heart of Thorns. <laughs> well, you kill Mordramoth in the story. Nobody cares about the jungle anymore. Yeah. Time, he's the only one in the jungle. The I jungle guess we're reading too. Who cares? Yeah. It's, they're <laughs> very different threads. Right? The, the yeah. living story the, and the... The story the has moved story. on. Yeah, because there has to be a certain level of conclusion to the expansion story, because they can't just leave you hanging, right? Or may well, I, I, maybe they can. I don't know. Well, don't they know. will. They will. Every you know, you get one answer and twenty questions. Well, I don't think they can though, work. because the living story is technically not actually a you know you know well this this here comes this discussion ag again, right? It's technically not attached to it because suppose you beat all the story and there's a sick cliffhanger that you need to wait for the living story for. If you don't log on, you'd still have to buy it again, right? So it's, hey. Too bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Look, if you, if you read Harry Potter 1, you're going to have to buy Harry Potter 2 if you want to find out what happens to Harry and the other little... Yeah, but that would be, that would be an expansion. Wizard kids. That, what, what's the DLC <laughs> on Harry Potter? Uh, <laughs> oh, no, the DLC <laughs> is shouting with megaphones outside of Barnes & Noble <laughs> <laughs> the night the book comes out. <laughs> The DLC is like a nude patch that you can download oh. where all the characters will be naked. It'll be pretty see extra, well. It's the extra bits that you get in the DVD that you gotta buy. Oh, yeah, yeah. Of the deleted where scenes. You, where, you, where you can see uh, the Daniel the Radcliffe of... being oh. an alcoholic at age 12. This <laughs> stress is too much. He's not the Star Wars kid. I think Daniel Radcliffe's done pretty well for himself. That's true. He, uh, he's done way better than the Star Wars kid. He turned his life around. <laughs> Poor Came Annie. The dark side. <laughs> Poor, poor Annie. <laughs> Little orphan uh, Annie. Holy shit. <laughs> man. Oh, man. I guess it could be worse. It could be Macaulay Culkin. Mm -hmm, yeah. Good for him. Um, Macaulay Culkin hooked up with that um, Mila he's Kunis. He's doing better now. So he's like, doing pretty good. He's doing better <laughs> now. It's not bad. He had a rough couple of years there. <laughs> he had a rough Celebrity 20. Celebrity sea time. Yeah. You got to see the, his movie about the farting corpse. Oh God! What, I, what was that? What's that film called? Actually, I know the. Oh I yeah. Know the film. What's it called? I. Uh, it's about a guy who like, can nearly commits suicide, but then he doesn't commit suicide, and he makes friends you know? with a dead body, but the dead body is actually kind of still alive because memes, magic or sounds something. Better, sounds better than season three. <laughs>
<laughs> would you rather? Would you rather? Uh, have, I'm joking. Would you? Would, yeah, Swiss Army Man. Yeah, I like right. season three. Yeah, most of it. No, I like season three as well. I don't like any of it. What don't you like? But that's uh, what, Guild Wars Two. Just all of it. I like the personal story. Pretty much up to like the Ara story mode. It's a level ten. Oh, okay. No, I liked most of it. <laughs> and then, like, the, like, a raw story mode, like, it was, it was okay. And then the Zaitan fight really killed it. Yeah. Like, I feel like that's kind of whenever I started becoming cynical with Guild Wars 2. That, that's what had happened? Two days yeah. after release and you got the Zaitan? No, it was probably, I don't know, <laughs> like three weeks. Hmm. Okay. I, I don't know. I, I, I like most of season three. I just didn't like. I didn't like the latest twist. Um, I really like the Lazarus White Mantle stuff. No, it's not. It's bad. I like it. I don't. The humor. I don't even feel like I should even bother to trash talk the humor, even though I really easily could. Like the humor, they are appealing. They are absolutely nailing the humor in the story because they are appealing to a crowd who thinks that like Ritlock trombone and timey is a cool character because every single release (laughs) there's like, there are like 17 appreciation threads on Reddit. Like they're they're, just to put it into perspective, they are literally appealing to the people who would make appreciation threads on Reddit and they're just knocking it out of the park because it happens every single time and they all get like, 18,000 upvotes and like they've they found their they found their audience finally they didn't find their audience whenever they thought the dungeons would be play how you want any build they missed the audience there and so like they did what they do they just abandoned the content entirely like living story one I liked it, but the fact that you can't go back and do any of it, and like the molten jet pack is three thousand gold. Like, I think it's nine thousand, isn't it? Is it? Yeah, it's like nine k. <laughs> it's a lot worse now. Yeah. Market yeah. manipulation. Oh. Yeah, it's eight eighty five hundred gold. I didn't realize that. Oh, it's fine. Send me one, Brazil. Buy them out. There's only like ten on there. Uh, yeah, somebody buy them out and send me one. Buy them out and relist them at ten k. Ma- market no manipulate them. I don't know. I mean, yeah. R- Ritlock Trombo and stuff like that, and all the kind of Canuck stuff is it's kind of cheesy, but I think it's kind of amusing. I I don't like Canuck. Oh, like, oh how he's, come on! He's the most he's the most likable character in the story, but like <laughs> I don't like him. Why, that doesn't why mean he's a, He is the most likable character. <laughs> yeah. It, Why don't, really, I can't believe he left, It's man. Like, like, he's like an eight... He's it's like character. a middle schooler. Like, when middle school humor is, like, the most developed sense of humor in the entire story, like... I don't know. It just says a lot to me. I don't know. I think he's a funny character. Well, was a yeah. funny character. He's gone now. He'll be back. Do you think he'll be back? I don't, I don't know, the, con- the connect dialogue when you went into Codicus Manor and you saw the picture of Logan, that was, there's some, <laughs> yeah, there's some really yeah, choice. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, that dialogue was so good. Yeah. So I, I, I don't think it is, I don't think it even is, um, there, there, I think, you know, you, you gotta, you gotta see it for what it is. I, I think that's something that a lot of people don't, uh, too many people don't appreciate, right? You, you shouldn't be coming into Guild Wars 2 expecting it to be this super highbrow intellectual humor. You gotta see it as a, just a couple of goofy jokes here and there. Uh, yeah. And if you look at it for that, it is kind of funny. I mean, yeah, the timey stuff literally makes me just press the mute key. I just don't want to listen to that shit. It's just, Yo. <laughs> uh, just, just be quiet. Timey's my favorite character. I love her. She's the best. You've you've made a mistake, Inc. She said that live. That's recorded now. <laughs> you've made an error. It's fine. She's she's the most well developed character ever, and she's amazing. I she love might what she might actually be her. the most well developed. In fairness. Everything's always about time. Uh, I don't know about that. <laughs> I take it back. <laughs> Her character model is actually growing. Someone, someone yeah. showed. Yeah, getting old. She's... Her apparently her degenerative bone disease isn't getting any worse though. It seems to be actually somebody was better. somebody was telling me yesterday you can actually in one of the instances you can like cleanse it. So you can cleanse the cripple off of her. So she nice. Moves. <laughs> I'm gonna make a Speed crazy prediction. <laughs> 
I'm going to I'm going to predict that Timey's crippleness gets like to the point where she experiments on herself with dra- dragon magic and like alters herself in like some horrible Frankenstein way but it saves her life just like Cable from Marvel Comics. It's like the steel virus like takes over him but he uses it to become a superhero she and he never dies. We know. Yeah. I honestly like I feel like I was thinking about that very point the other day. Like if we bring back living story season one for people to play like, or was Scarlet season two Scarlet was season two. What's or was that no, season one? She was, season no, one. it was two. The well, I guess it was, I guess Lion art. Lion no, I'm, thinking, I'm thinking of She's, like, Flaming season Flaming. one was really stretched out over. Yeah, a long yeah it was like two years. No, season season one ended with like you figuring like you discover that there is this like puppet master, mad scientist, mysterious person who was like manipulating everything from the shadows, and they were probably really smart and really crazy. And you're season like, oh man, death. no. Yeah, season yeah. two ended with their death, didn't it? Yeah. Season two ends when we go in the Heart of Thorns. When we yeah. you see the airships. Go. Oh yeah, you're right. You're right. Okay. <clears throat> season one was just like a two year. Okay. Journey so, of putting signs in the ground. Yeah, I remember that. Like everything up to the point where you figured out that there was like a crazy villain puppet master. Like that stuff was fine. But then, like, if you bring back season one and people play through the Scarlet content, they're just gonna uninstall the game, honestly. Because, like, they're going to be like, oh, so this is Guild Wars 2. All right. <laughs> I think, um, I don't know. I think that, they're, like, right now you can get a recap, like, which is really kind of terrible, of Season 1. Uh, and I don't know how they would bring back Season 1, but I, you know, I think a lot of people would like to see it come back. There's a lot of people who haven't, who just weren't around at that time. They have no idea, you know the story and the different events and stuff that happened. But some of that was time gated, so I don't know how you would even you know what I mean? Bring that back. Yeah, like the stuff that was like open world in Lions Arch you could never do again. It, right, yeah. And realistically it probably wouldn't even work. Even if they put it in the game it would just be buggy and broken. Mm. Uh, I, you can still go to South Sun and experience what that was like uh at when it happened live when it was added to the game in season one. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, the the Lost Shores event was just one of the biggest clusterfucks ever, man. It, this, the, the event, oh my god, that event, it took so long, man. I logged <laughs> off, I logged <laughs> off in the middle of it, oh, I couldn't play. And the absolute best oh, part was, was so laggy. if you remember, everyone forgot about this, but one of the advertisements for the Lost Shores was that it was going to oh! add a new, du- a new dungeon. <laughs> it was like the Kanak dungeon, and everyone was like, oh my god, they're finally adding a new dungeon to the game. Yeah, and it was like this, sense. like crappy instance that was like it took like like 30 seconds like where you fought like one shitty you, you boss put him in terrible. a corner and killed him with lifesteal that was the optimal strategy yeah like you jammed him between three or stalagmites or stalactites the ones that are on the bottom stalagmites those are the ones that grow on the bottom of caves there were three of those over against one of the walls and you could lure him in there and then, like, jump through a crack between two of them, and he would still have line of sight on you. And he would basically just stand still. And he had this, like, shield that made him immune to damage and condition damage, I think. But you could still kill him with lifesteal. So, like, you would just auto-attack him through that. Because the actual mechanic of the fight was to pull him over mines on the floor, and, like, he would just, like, CC you and knock you down whenever you got close to one. So it was, like, it took ages to do. It, it was, was kind of, so like, dumb. the same gimmick as Liadri. It was just, like, oop, life st- or Jade Maw, lifesteal. It's just the be-all and end-all mechanic of Guild Wars 2. It just breaks everything. They should it's bring like- back Liadri, but buff the H. Bring back the whole gauntlet, but buff. It, the whole buff. gauntlet was so good. Just buff the HP of... Like, like the I remember mods, farming the uh, one guy, the the, the rifle the, guy. The gauntlet was yeah. mass farm, it, like farm events and champions with staff guardian trains and casual players. <laughs> it was like do was hard bosses, world. do hard bosses for <laughs> achievements for the hardcore players, and like the really good players just farmed one of the hard bosses over and over, and like they all made their legendaries. Like it was, it was. 
it was perfect. It was the best event they've ever made, and it's never coming back. Mm. They kind of brought it back before. Yeah, they did. Yeah. They don't want to do it again for some reason. Nope. Well, it's just a matter, I think, of finding time and resources to dedicate to that. Yeah. Right? To rehaul it. I imagine it's probably broken or something. Yeah, it probably needs to be fixed. And they'd have to rebalance everything because of half the ones. The, uh, you know, the elite specs would just make it completely trivial. Yeah. Everything's like, the would, would die in, like, two seconds. It wouldn't be fire, fair. Yeah. But I think a lot of people really enjoyed that particular festival. Yeah. Well, like I don't like remember said, that it had something complaints. for everyone. I don't, I don't really remember that many complaints. Uh, every, everything's rose tinted now, though. That's the thing, right? Literally, True. Every, literally everything is rose tinted. Well, not even everything, more like anything, uh, because people just, you know, they're, they're just hungry for stuff to do in the game, right? And they see that old stuff, they go, oh, I remember that. You guys remember that? That was great. So they want it back. I remember how toxic that the the bottom events where you killed. Yeah. <laughs> it was so toxic. Like the the commanders there would like like if you're not stacking here, get in like map chat would just like flame people. It was so bad. Like you'd have like one guy who's just like meleeing the boss while everyone else is back on the stairs stacked up, and like the one guy would just be getting like ridiculously flamed. It was the other thing too is I think so bad. What I learned about SAB this year is that if they bring a festival back and they don't actually add content, even minimal content, rewards just isn't enough. You need to actually add content for people to get excited and even want to play. Veteran or longtime players anyway. New players, sure, they're going to play it, experience it, whatever. But uh, I know like a lot of people this time around, they, they were just saying, I'm not doing SAB because... I've already done, you know, I've done that content three times now. You know, mm, well, I think, I think it's because people were just hyping for a new world, right? It, it, there's a, it's an extra SAB fact because people were really wanted another world. I don't know why they thought they would get one. I mean, that was just like, crazy or something. Well, world. well, no, I think that don't get me wrong. They made it pretty clear that we weren't going to get that. But at the same time, a couple of months, probably six months before that time, they had said that the current events team were, would be working on festivals, right? Around Winter's Day time, they said that the current events team, which we haven't seen a current event in a while, right? They said that they would be working on festivals. So people, because we hadn't really seen current events, I guess except for the Traherne quest. On the, I love uh, Traherne. Calabog. Pilot Calabog, not Traherne. The Cal Besides the Caliball quest, we hadn't really seen any content from them, right? So, you know, there would technically be enough people to kind of maybe work on something like that. But, I mean, that wasn't the case, obviously. So. Yeah. I think that's where people got that idea from. Yeah. Not that I it was going so. to happen, but that it could happen. And then people yeah. were just hopeful. They were, over they were over optimistic that something could happen. Yeah. And then when it didn't happen... Even though Arena Net told them a year before that it probably it's ninety nine percent that it's not going to happen, then you know I'd, I'd be pretty shocked that the current events team didn't get pulled into the X Pack development. Uh, I think it's pretty likely they may already have been right. Yeah, or, which is a bit of a shame, right? Because I, I know that those current events weren't large scale things, but they were something to tide you over. And I know a lot of people were sure. pretty excited for. Like the conclusion or the continuation of the rift thing that they had started, but I not finished. I, I think it's better if they make sure the expansion isn't rushed out, though. Or, or, True. Or, or as, it's as polished as it can be. I'd rather have, I'd rather have them polish the expansion as much as possible before they release it, um, because I don't know. I don't. I don't want another. I don't want another HOT. I don't want. I don't want twenty YouTube accounts all called half expansion, Mike. Guys, I don't want to see that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> As oh, funny as boy. it is, I don't want a massive amount of, of troll accounts. There's even someone on Reddit called Half Expansion Mike leaking loads of yeah. stuff as well. You know, he, gets, uh, he gets downvoted a lot. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, that, that sort of stuff is just not good for the game. It's not constructive. It's not good for anyone. Okay, It's, it's fine, though, because don't worry, guys. When the expansion is out, don't you guys shit talk it. Wait till tea time and we'll shit talk it for you. Okay, simple. Oh, boy. Right, just let the, just just, job. just let me be the bad guy. I'll shoulder it all. Exactly. I'll be the Guild Wars two bad guy. I don't have a problem with it. You can be the Dark Knight. 
the the hero um, that Gil mm -hmm. was, the, not the you know, yep. not the one they deserve, but the one they need. This is the benchmark. I saw half police. expansion, Mike. He got downvoted for saying Nike had inside information about the seeping <laughs> salad nerf. And I was like, I, I can't wait to see how this event plays out. <laughs> this is really cute. There's nothing against, like, you or, like, I don't know, whatever. But it's just, like, the community is, like, they're just rolling with all of the memes now. Like, it's, it's a great thing to see. Yeah, exactly. Except they all love it. They love the memes. Who doesn't love memes, guys? We'll eventually... Someone earlier... Um, sorry. Go ahead. Well, I was just going to say that eventually there will be enough salt members on Reddit that we will eventually convert them. It's, it's, we, we, we are kind of like a, a disease. We'll infect them, and eventually they'll become just memesters like us. It'll be glorious. But yeah, go ahead. I, I, I said something stupid. You say something productive. Uh, well, I don't know how productive it is, but somebody wanted to talk about the nerf to the turret NG farm. Uh, it, it's fine. It really hasn't changed. The turret I mean, NG farm. You go to sleep get a little and less you wake loot. up and you have loot. I mean, who cares how bad it is? As you, long a little as less, you get a little less loot now, but that was already happening anyway because you're in groups of like 90 freaking people. Yeah, exactly. They, it, it, it's, it's like that DJ Khaled gif where you played yourself or whatever. It's like the whenever it got to the point where like commanders were just tagging up and there were bajillions of people and like stuff died before like people could even tag it. It was like it wasn't profitable at that point. It was a waste of time. But that's I mean, it was it was never super profitable to begin with. But you're semi AFK. I mean, how much profit do you want out of that? <laughs> Exactly. But I think I used to get I used to get almost two bags for a full tea time, and now I get like one and a half. God Sex, damn. rather. So how much gold is that? How much gold do you make per tea time? Oh, I don't know. I just deposit it and then sell it later to Ecto Gamble oh, away. Okay. <laughs> it's like a stack. So a stack of bags, though. So I, 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 stack and a half. Stack. How much does that sell for? Well, how much are they each? Four silver or something? Or five? Uh, let's see. Uh. It's still pretty decent then. Yeah, four silver rupees. Still pretty decent then. So you're still, well, it's a little bit, seven gold now or something like that. It's not bad. It's not bad for AFK. Not bad yeah, for being. I mean, not bad I'm for being completely doing... AFK. Get on that energy farm, guys. Farm those centaurs. Like if you actually want to be productive and do something in the game, then this is not the way to do it. But if you're, I don't know watching TV or something and not really playing the game, then... Yeah, multi-client. Get, like, eight accounts, eight NGs Eight in NGs. There. Eight and, yeah. and just let the gold roll in while you sleep. Yeah. It's perfect. I think, like... I think, like, uh... Necro Farm is probably stronger. I don't know if that's true. The Necro Farm? What, what? The Bitterfrost Frontier one, or what? Yeah. What, what do you... I mean, that that's what? pure AFK, right? It's yeah, just, it's pure AFK, but what do you actually get for that, though? Do you get a lot loot of... Loot from, like, bags from, the, from, from the mobs? mobs? You get the bags from mobs, you get... Um, then you get the tier 6 venom sacks, mostly. Which aren't worth a whole ton, but... Is it actually good, though? You get good tier, gold Tier 5, it? tier 6. It's okay. It's, I mean, you're AFK. How much do you really think you're gonna... <laughs> <laughs> how much profit do you think you're really getting out of it? And, by the way, like... You have to be careful because if they whisper you, you need to respond. If you don't, then just have like a software layer that detects yellow text and just like uh, says something. Should, should, that's cheating. But what, why? <laughs> ser seriously though, why do they? They'll they'll what? They'll they'll ban you or kick you. Basically, they'll kick you if you if you if you don't whisper them back. I don't know what I don't know what action. I don't do the AFK necro farm. I don't have a necro, but uh, I don't know what they do to you. They they kick you minimally, but they might. They might temp ban you or something. I don't they know. might action you. And why would they do that though? You're you're not even doing. You're literally doing nothing. Yeah, yeah well, they don't. But they don't. Yeah, they it. don't encourage an AFK farm though. They don't want you to do it. So if they catch you doing it, and by the way, I don't have much faith that the reports really do anything. But if if they if they do catch you and they do, um, yeah, if they whisper you, you need to move around or uh, respond to them or whatever the case is. There's still tons of bots running around Cursed Shore. I'm not sure. Yeah. 
<laughs> There's still plenty there of work for them that, to do. That fly hack through like walls and dragon stand. Like if you just go to like a waypoint and just turn your camera up to the sky, you'll see people just gliding through walls. It's a two day like, temp ban. Fun. And then someone else said two weeks, so I guess it depends how many times they catch you doing it. <laughs> Do it at your own risk. Yeah. We probably shouldn't be doing it. Uh, you should be doing the NG farm anyway, it's better. easy money. There's no chance of getting banned there, otherwise they'd have to ban basically half the player base at this point. Well, you, you also, I mean, to get anything from it, you actually need to be there, so... Yeah, but you, you need to refresh, you need to refresh... Put those turrets back. Yep. Gotta redeploy those turrets. I just did. I'm good. Yeah. <laughs> just did. <laughs> and it got buffed as well. You can use the... Uh, your friend got suspended for doing the NG farm? No, he didn't. Nice. Sorry, dude. Your friend is a hacker, probably. Uh, maybe he was doing a bit of map completion on the side. Uh, maybe going through 29 map points in 60 seconds. <laughs> but you, 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 no, you, you won't get banned for the NG farm, guys. Because even if a even if a even if a uh, even a, a mod a mod is not the right word even if somebody comes along and whispers you it, like you're if if you the turrets only last five minutes so after five minutes you're not getting any loot yeah like <laughs> necro minions don't ever time out right like, exactly. aside from the the horrors those are the only ones that do yeah. So, I'm afraid it probably wasn't a suspension for the NG farm. That was probably a suspension for something very naughty. Uh, <laughs> it's just like every other argument that starts with my friend dot dot dot. I know, I love it. I love All these right. threads because it just when uh, someone from the dev team, in particular uh, Chris Cleary, just appears there yeah. and just lays the smack down. Oh my god, it's beautiful, isn't it? I cannot believe people try and get away with this. Motherfucker, they're logging every chat message you send, dude. Do you seriously think yeah. they don't know if you're hacking? Come on, man. Come on, dude. Don't try and get away with that. I don't know why... Oh, God. I don't know why people would even attempt to try and wriggle out of it. Unbelievable. I try to rig ESL games in the game plan. <laughs> yes. Stupid. That's an error. That is a mistake. Don't do that. Uh, might I use an auto clicker? <coughs> well, yeah, that, that's macroing. You, you shouldn't do that. I use an auto clicker. Yeah, I'll I, give I, it to you if uh, you want. Yeah, as long, as long as it's one. I mean, you can use an auto clicker to like open bags and shit, or just bound, bind it to your mouse wheel, whatever. It's it's you know it's the same thing. As long as it's one click per action, you'll be fine. Yeah, yeah. it's like the point, it's like, the point it's is, like, is the, but they you, were you, doing you, more than just yeah, one, farming. Yeah, they, they weren't. Yeah, they were doing something more. Don't, don't use it's, it's, don't use macros, guys. You're po you're potentially at risk. So if you have a button yeah. that you you have something on your keyboard that you you click it and it will put all your turrets down again, that's not allowed. Because uh, nope. if you say if you have it's, like a function key bound to macroing all your turrets out again, don't do that. It's one action per click, just like semi-automatic weapons in the there United were, States. There were a few loopholes. <laughs> semi-automatic wouldn't be allowed though. That's you know you can't do that shit. It's one action per click. I guess. There one were a few action. Posts on Reddit where the devs said that some people got banned by accident. Oops, accident. Sorry. Yeah, I mean, I, yeah, that, that is true. That is true. Some people actually did get banned for no reason. Uh, that actually has happened. So, Maybe they just thought it was the NG farm. Yeah. When they actually did nothing wrong. They, NG farm did nothing wrong. <laughs> Wait, what the hell is this thing? You think this takes concentration? <laughs> Try healing in World of Warcraft after someone in the group jump. Oh, wait, just feared the entire room, and the stupid Death Knight has stolen all the aggro from the tank. All whilst trying to reach deep into that bag for the cheesy Doritos. Now that is skill. This is just a bunch of tap dancing in tight clothes with a room full of gentlemen looking intently at you. Oh, no thanks. Yeah, that does sound like Guild Wars 2, actually. I'll take the flame of being the number one ranked healer in all of Azeroth. What the hell is this past? Where does this even come from? This is fucking Did trash. Did Rex this make is... it? And Rex to... I don't even know what the fuck is this shit. <clears throat> I think the first person to pass through it was Marco Watt. Okay. I don't even know what the hell that is, dude. But I don't know. But to bring it to bring it back around full circle, what do you guys think about the balance patch overall? It's fine. I think it's, it's fine. fine. They don't, they don't it's test anything. But good change. It was good change to Necro. Uh, kind of, it, I find it unusual they buffed Comedy Thief, but whatever. I guess they can do that. 
Condi Ellie. Ellie's back on top with DPS. Ellie's sick DPS again. I like that. Uh, power is still good in some places. That's fine. I don't... Oh, yeah, this is the thing. I, I, I don't know. I guess they wanted to do this to make it less complicated. But why did they nerf... Uh, we kind of touched on this before, but why did they nerf some skills in PvE for literally no reason? For example, Tides of Time is slow as fuck now. Headbutt is slow as fuck now. Like, what, there was no need, right? There, it does. Why do they nerf Arc Divider in PvE? Literally pointless nerf. Like, why... It doesn't really make any sense. Power Warrior was already not really used very often, right? Maybe I'm wrong, but have they ever done a split skill where they split, like, the casting time I, yeah, of I, a skill? I'm pretty sure they want to avoid it. I'm not sure. Yeah. They, they don't want the skills to, like, physically be, yeah, like, be different. feel different. Yeah. Like, different numbers is fine. Different recharge is fine. The Guardian different... shield lasts longer in PvP than it does in PvE. Or, lasts longer in PvE than it does in PvP. But I don't know if that's the same thing. I don't think that's the same thing. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I guess I understand from that point they don't want to do two separate animations for oh, yeah. two. Yeah, but... and your pain is totally different. That is a good point, actually. I guess it's totally different in World vs. World as well, right? Yeah. Because it's, it's got half the duration, double the cooldown. In, um, oh, no. Ugh. It's got half the duration, half the cooldown. They, ch they, they changed that little meme. I don't know. It's still really annoying, but I understand why they did it. Yeah. Tide, they nerfed Tides of Time? Yeah, they increased the cast time on it by 50%. I think. It's kind of shitty, but hey, whatever. That's how it goes. But other than that, the balance patch is actually pretty good, I think. And hey, you know, at least they are trying to address some stuff in World vs. World, right? With the epidemic change, even though they broke it completely, and it still doesn't work exactly properly. But they're, they're you know, they're trying to address it, right? So what what's left? What are the big things in World v. World that need to be uh, addressed? Well, I believe, as well, I don't know. I, I, I've heard a lot of people complaining about this in the circles, but it might just be an exaggeration, I don't know, but apparently, like, the co co Rev is just complete AIDS cancer right now, because of all the torment it applies. Is that for, like, roaming, or for group? I think with group stuff. Like, Zerg? Yeah. Because you apply a bunch of resistance to everyone in Rev, you're, you're there as the resistance slave to help defend against the Condi <laughs> cancer. But the thing is, now that the, apparently the Condi cancer is just unbelievably terrible now. It's just that the AIDS is spreading. It already was pretty AIDS, uh, just spamming necros, but now apparently you've got Torment in the mix, like Torment's going all over the place. Had an Epidemic get nerfed for others? Well, it's projectiles now, so you can, you can counterplay it. Potentially, can you reflect in theory. it? I haven't tried No, it's that. unblockable, it's unblockable. All right. If you could reflect it, I think it would actually be complete hell trash. Things well, I mean, that need to be addressed in World vs. World. Everything. <laughs> yeah. 50 stack of AoE Torment, yeah. It, it, Rev has a very, very, very good burst of Torment right now. Uh, with the chi go. With the chill train Rev and the... World. I, I don't know, but again, I, I gotta hand it to ArenaNet. Seriously, guys, you did a great job. I love the Condi Rev design. Uh, the Corruption redesign is absolutely fantastic, in my opinion. Really good stuff on that with the way it interacts with the resistance and the boon strip, the traits all kind of line up, chill torment, which is kind of funky. I don't know, I know, I, I, I really like the design of, of corruption uh, right now, actually. It's, it's good stuff. I like it. I like it a lot, but it is really fucking good. It's it, it oh, unbelievably strong. Oh, there's a Reddit thread. Wait, what's Spoilers. it about? Spoilers, there may be a connection between the Masot recent raid wing and living story as a typo in it. Wait, what? Why? But the MSAT? Spelled, yeah, MSAT. <laughs> MSAT? <laughs> I'll read it. Specifically, a connection dealing with Balthazar that honestly raises more questions than it answers for me at this point. In the Bastion of the Penitent, a dagger can be found on the ground in the holding area. A body found in the same area shows signs of being a stabbing victim. I mean, I guess okay. that makes sense. A replica of Dagger from Wade Wing, Raid Wing 4 can be found in Draconis Mons in the cave that Calamity patrols along with a couple pieces of paper that can be read. The Dagger itself doesn't offer a tremendous amount of information aside from being identical in appearance to the Prison Dagger. The Dagger skin appears nowhere else in the game that I can find. And there's like a picture of it. Abandoned letter offers some insight into the dagger. Someone else is either trying to use it to repair or manufacture it, likely manufacture or replace the dagger that Balthazar used to have. So I'm not sure where this leads. Whatever. It was Balthazar imprisoned. 
Was the bastion of the penitent holding facility powerful? Balthazar's Deimos. Interesting. Nailed it. Balthazar's Deimos. Nailed it. But Nailed it. But the, so kind of it was. It's like the second post here. There, there's a hole already because they look just like the daggers that are seen in Scarlet's uh, lair. So. Balthazar has his own musical theme. It is first hinted at in Keep Siege and reappears several times. Plays when Lazarus first appears in Season 3 and features prominently during battle in Draconis Mons. Mm. I don't know about that theory. Yeah, Saul so says you'll let him out. What if, he, he, what if you let Balthazar out? No, I don't think so, Kevin. I don't know, Kev. Yeah, I don't, I don't know, know about Kev. that. Not sure about that. <laughs> It was probably Timey. She let him out. Timey let Balthazar out. Yep. Uh, blame Timey. She didn't realize it, though, because she was tired. Yeah. She didn't have a nap. Now, I, I don't know. That, that actually didn't just kind of piss me off. It kind of just triggered me a bit. <laughs> the Abyssal just... Kill trait is kind of retarded. Oh, yeah. yeah it, it is kind of retarded, yeah. <laughs> uh, sorry, go ahead, Nike. Oh, I was just gonna. I forgot what I was gonna say. Actually. Oh no, I ruined it. Okay, I'm sorry. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, ruined. It, it probably wasn't. Just, very yeah, good. I, it just it, yeah. Just the thing about time being tired was just kind of weird to me. Oh, I'm so tired. So what? What the fuck are you talking about? Uh, she on. works too hard. Oh, she works too hard. I, I just it just came out of nowhere and they just pushed it really hard in that episode and it just kind of it just. I don't know. I don't even know why. Seriously, I don't even know why. But it just really made me angry. It just kind of what the fuck is this writing, man? That that, that element of the story. <laughs> well, just, it didn't. It just it didn't really the come way. out of nowhere. It yeah. didn't really come out of nowhere. They yeah. discussed a lot in the other episodes yeah. of her not sleeping and not resting and yeah. blah 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 whatever. But it's yeah. just she's just like, oh, it's all my fault, yeah. Commander. It's just, I, I, just, ah. I, I don't know why did why why they even went there. It's just be, be quiet, timey. Just. Shh. <laughs> <laughs> She's okay. the best character in Guild Wars 2. Just relax, Teapot. Okay. Embrace, okay. embrace Timey. Yeah. No, no, I will not embrace Timey. <laughs> Fucking. Embrace okay. the Timey. How dare you? <laughs> hey, the bot actually works. And hey, the last time the bot broke, it wasn't she my fault. It was YouTube fucking with her API, man. It wasn't even me, dude. It wasn't even, it wasn't even me, man. Uh, however. Is that about it, guys? That kind of wraps it up. I think that rounds off tea time. So, oh, map chat is good. Map chat is spicy. Let's uh, let's say uh, you know, let's, let's let's get the hell out of here. But first, uh, surprise guest Brazil. Do you want to chill a little bit? You want to want to say say no. some words, some final words? Yeah. Uh, if you want to subscribe to a YouTube channel that nobody posts on anymore, mine's in the description. <laughs> so. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> I don't really know what else to say. I'm a, I'm a meme at this point. I've transcended Guild Wars 2 exactly into the position where I've always wanted to be. I'm just a meme. Yeah, you've joined the, the, you joined Nemesis in the meme ranks. Nemesis in the Guild Wars 2 meme I, ranks. I, I, I've, I've become a part of the force. Yeah. Meme magic. Yup. Okay. There we go. And what about our other excellent guest... In the top left corner with uh, the hockey stick coming out of his name. It is Nike. Who are you? What do you do? What are, what is, what's going on over there? Um, I stream uh, the, that, that Barbie dress-up game on Twitch. It's pr my primary thing. Um, I do YouTube reaction videos. <laughs> and if you want, you can go to my Amazon wish list oh. and, and buy me <laughs> stuff. Well, and I'll make a reaction. I'll make a reaction video to that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's like a circle that never ends. Easy, like, it's easy react, content, right? Yeah, I, I react. People buy me stuff, and then I react to that. And nice. Just keep it going. Is it pretty, pretty good? good. Wow. Well, right. What kind of stuff is on your Amazon wish list? Well, you got that. Uh, an AR-15 rifle kit. <laughs> 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 That's pretty sweet. Okay. All right. I'm down. Yeah, it's pretty sweet. Oh boy! What about? Did you know? Oh. Did you know? According to senators in California, that a semi-automatic AR with a 30-round magazine clip can fire 30 rounds in under four seconds. That doesn't seem possible. 
A 30 round magazine clip. <laughs> magazine clip. Isn't 30 rounds. Redundant? No, they're different things. Okay. 30 rounds in under four seconds. So just, just wanted to throw that out there. Just fun, it's fun, pretty, fun facts. It's like, kind of it's like teleporting 29 times in under four seconds. Oh, oh. <laughs> hacking in real life, huh? That's impressive stuff. Oh, uh, shit. Okay. And finally, it is the tea time stalwart. It is MMO Inks. <laughs> That's right. Follow me on. Twitch, Twitter, YouTube. I haven't been on Tea Time Inks. for like six months, and I've probably still missed Miss Less Than Ink <laughs> <laughs> Um, Follow me on Twitter. We, we can't let Teapot overtake us. For some reason, that's important. Yes, it is so arbitrarily it important. Happen. Uh, yeah, but, uh, you know, that's why you need to follow me on Twitter instead, guys, okay? And, you know, you should follow the stream as well. You have been educated. You've learned a lot of things about the balance. We basically said, yeah, it's probably okay-ish. That's kind of the general message you get out of here. Uh, and yeah, follow the stream. Follow me on Twitter as well. It's there, just at Mighty Teapot. Easy, we're going to take inks down. No, stop posting inks to Twitter. F mods, ban all the people linking inks to Twitter. Fucking shut it down. <laughs> Seriously. Mods, get on there right now. Shut them down. I want timeouts. Don't do it, these. mods. Don't I want, do I want it. timeouts on these, on these players, guys. I want them, I want them taken fine. down. Link my Twitter instead, guys. I'll be on. And then you should subscribe as well, okay? I mean, people subscribe just because Brazil came back. I mean, that's a serious value right there. I mean, yeah, here, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold yeah. on. Just, uh, oh, shit, the mods are rebelling, guys. The mods are fucking All rebelling. Right, They're linking Inks' Twitter now. It's let's some... do it, guys. <laughs> what do you, wait, what do you I doing? think I resubscribed to you. Oh, shit. Twitch Prime. Oh, well, you have to, you, 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 you'll have wow. a little message. Wow. You need a, it, These it Nazi will, mods. It will give you a notification Eight. to do the announcement. It's a refresh thing. or something. Like yeah, that. I don't know. It's, it's right. kind of weird. They, seven years, and your message is gay, okay? <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, that's it for us, guys. <laughs> we'll see you later. Follow everyone. The bot's going to post all the links again, and it's going to work perfectly. Mm -hmm. Follow me on Twitter. Go, okay? Do it. And we'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching, guys.